Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy Achievers podcast for the week of November 13th. I don't remember how you're supposed to state a week. I think it's, you give the week that it starts, right? So you would say the week of November 10th? Or do you just Uh, say a date in that week? I don't know. Write in if you know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. And then again, this I would is have your just easy achievers the gaming d- podcast. Yeah. And across from me is, as always, the illustrious Alex. Hello. Alex, what are you drinking today? What is that you got there? <laughs> it's a Wendy's cup. It's a large, <laughs> for yeah. sure. That's an American large. You know, it's funny. I asked for just a regular medium size mm-hmm. like combo. Mm-hmm. They gave me a large cup. I'm like, all right, I ain't complaining. Uh, yeah, I, the, yeah. There was Coke in here. Uh huh. I don't have Coke uh, here. Okay. I still had some ice, so I was like, I want another drink. Okay. So I grabbed a can mm-hmm. of caffeine free Diet Coke <laughs> that I had in the fridge. I always specify that. I like that. <laughs> go ahead. And I poured it in here, and I'm drinking that. Okay. Because there was still ice in this. I don't want to make that. I, was I don't en- want the ice. I was enthralled at every point in that adventure, and I'm glad I asked. This I'm, is a different I'm episode this week. Always right? Eventually, we, usually we go through the news. Not much news happened this week. And I thought, oh, well, I guess we suck and won't go have an episode. And then I thought, yep. wait a minute. We have thoughts and yes. ideas. Yes, we do. And I have one idea I wanted to do today. Today, we are doing a very special episode. But first, a word from our sponsors. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> today is sponsored by patreon.com slash easy achievers please head over give us the dollar give us the buck helps us out a lot gives you the support uh make sure alex can eat alex can't eat without the dollar yep I, I, hey, he I starves did, i didn't you, uh, you think uh, he got that diet coke himself no no that right? dollar is what did it hey man i didn't get the i didn't get that money for the that chun li outfit i'll still try it i'll still try it <laughs> if you don't remember <laughs> this is weeks old now but <laughs> if you give us 60 dollars on patreon we will buy a chun li outfit and wear it on the stream because something happened with another streamer or something like that. I have no idea. I don't remember now, but but yes, buy him a trendy <laughs> outfit and he will wear it. Um, where was I? Again, easy achievers, <laughs> patreon.com. Uh, help us out, of course. Uh, uh, $5 gives you an episode early every week and an exclusive Patreon episode every week. Thank you so much for listening. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Alex, we're talking today about your 2010s and the game of the year for each of the 2010 years. Every year in a decade yep but alex first i have a question before we get into that mm. what have you been playing well, i've been playing this little game this little game has a, a, a little man called norman reedus which he plays as a delivery man <sighs> this game is called death stranding yes it is have you stranded any deaths i if that's what it's called I, I then i guess I, yes because i've left a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> stranded yeah you're stranding and connecting um this game is interesting uh you have played more so i'd yes, like your impressions. i'm about to hit our mark 18 okay that's a good bit um you'd say you're about a third of the way through the game how, how what so would you think there i was okay should i say the amount of episodes are in the game yeah sure okay. i don't think that's a spoiler all right, right? I didn't think we're so, saying yeah. the amount of episodes in the game okay if that is spoiled hit 10 seconds okay <laughs> yeah, i was about to say um there's 14 episodes mm-hmm. in the game okay. i'm on episode five okay so, okay, so roughly i'm almost, almost halfway. halfway once i hit episode seven i'll be halfway mm-hmm. so i'm about a what also a episodes third? mean nothing in this game yeah no because one episode oh, can be about an hour other episodes God. can be 10 hours <laughs> so episode seems... three took me forever yeah episode four 10 minutes <laughs> maybe 30 minutes i was like all right so that that might not be a good barometer to use yeah. to see where, where you at in the game i don't know i've played up to <clears throat> chapter three i think I think I'm on chapter three, or I'm about to start chapter three. I have not felt the pullings of playing this game. Yeah. Um. Unfortunately, I lost my internet for a few days, so I, I was actually out of commission. But I could still play Death Stranding offline. Uh, yeah. Which was really cool. I didn't know you could do that. And I played a little bit. Um. I did not feel the pull that Alex does with playing the game. I find myself not feeling the need to pick the controller up and start this game. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm not gonna lie. I felt like that last night. Yeah, I did feel like that last night. Like did I was they, sitting so there. So for us, it is Wednesday. 
Yes. Um, Disney Plus launched. <clears throat> so I've been messing around with Disney Plus, Same. having fun, just like everyone on the internet is. Yep. Um, watched The Mandalorian. I really yes, I did that. too. That was a fun That was, a fun that was show. good. We should make a Disney Plus podcast and just talk about <laughs> Disney Plus. How things. about just a Disney podcast? There you go. <laughs> just all about Disney. We'll call it... <clears throat> We'll call it Over the Moon. Huh? I don't know. I tried to do something with the uh, shooting star. Uh, Moving on. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> we'll brainstorm later. We'll brainstorm later. <laughs> Off air, I guess. Um, yeah, Disney Plus is fun. That's oh, what yeah. I've been doing, honestly. Oh, yeah. Just watching Disney Plus all the time. I uh, Again, Mandalorian, fantastic show. Hope you guys, if you, if you like Star Wars, watch it. If you don't, then it's, it's now, Star Wars. Are you a, a sidebar? Are you a fan of this weekly thing, or do you, is, it's not like Netflix where it's like oh, you get binge worthy or a binge? You can binge. I think it? some shows benefit from the binge yeah. ability, yeah, and some shows do not. I think this is a good show for me. Mm-hmm. Makes sense weekly because I yeah. will come back every week. Oh God, yes. Do do I feel like every show should be that? I don't think no. so because eventually I'm not going to know the schedule. I wish there was an easier way of knowing mm. the schedule maybe. I don't know. I did see a, I, um, I believe IGN was the one that posted it. Basically the schedule because we're getting a new episode Friday if you didn't know. Okay. So we're getting an episode Friday and then, then it starts the weekly. Okay. So it would so be like every, every Friday. Friday and then around Christmas time it <clears> gets <throat> a little weird. You don't get one every week. It's like yeah. every other week first. Yeah. For I, I mean some people started early like right now the CW show mm-hmm. the Arrowverse shows. Mm-hmm. I think Arrow and Flash are taking a two week break and then we'll be back till November 19. Yeah. That usually happens yeah, when so it breaks I, and things. Yeah. And it's weird because it, it, they're taking a break before Thanksgiving. Usually, you know, know. that's usually right, right? I don't remember. I haven't I watched TV in years. Yeah, it's it's weird. <sighs> Enough but of that, Alex. Enough back of to that the, garbage. Well, right? back, how about Back to Death Stranding? Jim, we were talking Jim, about Jim. Jim didn't click on this to <laughs> hear about Disney Plus. All right, Jim wanted to know Alex's impression on Death Stranding. Alex, what are your impressions? Um, I am. So last night, like I said, it 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 I hit did hit that mark to where I'm like. Do I want to play this or mm-hmm. do I not? Because I was literally right. sitting there looking at it. Again, for reference, we have two brand new games coming out <laughs> Friday. Yes. And I 100% believe these games are pushing me out. There's no oh, way I'm coming back to this or any of these games launch. And see, I'm going to try my best. And by the way, those two games are Pokemon and Star Wars, just in case you do not know. My, I'm going to try my best to try to stay on it. Because just because I want to see the, sto- the story is I about, I do want to see the story. And through. I'm already, I'm, I've put 18 hours in, so I, I have to put some. I You're have like, to I keep going. Try. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I was like on hour mark five, mm-hmm. then nah. But mm-hmm. I mean, I'm almost 20 hours. Have I you think. seen the reviews for Pokemon? I have not. Pretty good so far. Yeah. Um, bunch of people really happy. Uh, there's a few people that are like, it's Pokemon. Yeah. So they did give it more. I mean, of, a of negative. course, it's Pokemon. Well, but they it, give it more of a negative fresh. because it's so. Pokemon, oh, but gotcha. you know, it's basically if you want Pokemon, buy it. If yeah, you know, don't, yeah. I mean, if you it. like Pokemon, just get it. But yeah. it looks like fresh. It looks because cool. you remember how in Pokemon Go the po- Pokemon are like yeah. walking around. Yeah. It looks like I seen screenshots of this one. Yeah, there's in this one. Yeah, and I love. So that. there's both. So there are oh. free roaming Pokemon yeah. you can just run up to and catch. Yeah. And there's <laughs> also um, the ones where it just goes. So <laughs> there's so you know how in, when it, let's say I walk in tall grass, right? Uh-huh. It used to be random counter. It does not work that way, but it does. So okay. it, let's say I am walking by tall grass mm-hmm. and I see an exclamation point. That oh. means it's a random encounter there. Yeah. And if I go to it, I have a better chance of getting a higher statted Pokemon from that encounter. Oh. So that that Pokemon might have a better ability or some sort of better stat. Okay. Um, and then we have the raids. Did you know about the raids? The Gigamats. No. So there's basically raids in this game. Um, let's say I'm I'm walking through a town and I see Gyarados over there. Mm-hmm. Me and I think three other people, I think randomly in the world, I still mm-hmm. don't know how that works, fight Gyarados. Yeah, I was about to say, it. so is this one connected online? I don't know. Um, they didn't really go on that in the review. I watched IGNs. I did not get a chance to read it because I've been very busy today. But mm-hmm. um, I uh, know that people are involved, real people. I just don't know how it works. If I, I, mm. I know you don't have to have three people with you to do it. Yeah. Because they just give you three people, I'm pretty sure. Huh. Don't know. Interesting. Yeah. It is cool. I'm excited. Um, I have a lot of people very upset because of the Pokedex. Um, it's not complete. Okay. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't really know what people mean by this, but I'm pretty sure they mean you cannot catch every Pokemon ever. I'm pretty sure is, is okay. what that means because you can't bank any Pokemon. You know how you pay 
for the Pokemon Bank. Yes. Like if, if I played Sun and Moon. Yeah. I could take my Pokemon from Sun and Moon and move them into this Pokemon, and mm. I could play with them then. Yeah. I see people's. I get how people are upset because you are paying for that service and you're you're getting no use out of it, right? Yeah. So I can see that, but I don't care because I'm not that invested. So. Yeah. And I'm not going to get the whole Pokedex anyways, <clears throat> unless I'm enthralled with this game. What do you think? Um, I mean, as it's it's Pokemon. I mean, yeah. I'm, I feel like I'm going to enjoy it. Um, I'm excited for these certain mechanics that I we haven't seen before. Like, for example, the raids. Like, I'm wondering how that's going to work. If, right. Like, let's say you're there by yourself. Mm-hmm. And maybe it'll be kind of like once you go to it, it'll be like a, a, a thing where you can start kind of like either a lobby or like um if you remember when if you connected to dark souls on, uh, online what right before you fight a boss you can summon some yeah, you can thing summon someone. and they can help yeah. you maybe that's what it so is so i wonder if it's like that very curious we'll see alex there's another game coming out star wars oh, i'm my very God. excited for this game. same what do you think we're getting out of this game i <clears throat> am interested because i heard the review embargo is tomorrow at midnight okay that is worrisome because people can buy the game tomorrow at midnight. Yeah. So why would you put your review embargo to go live if- before you sell your game? Because Pokemon's went live today, right? Hmm. So unless, unless that tells very... me uncertainty in your product, so you want the review to not go out before the game because that might stifle pre-orders. Yeah. That or I am think- worried, Alex. That Calm or- me down. That or do you think Pet that my head, um, please? <laughs> do you think that um, any type of review could lead to spoilers and they try not to spoil anything? I think that's a weak thinking on their. Hmm. That sounded more rude than I meant it. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, I meant to mean that. No, I, I understand very what you mean. Pre. Yeah. Like, I, would, I don't. We don't want to ruin the story. No, yeah, Star yeah. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It's, so we like it's not, not a good of a. And also, a side note: we cannot preview the game on EA Access, which I is saw a that. feature of EA Access. I saw that. I was so upset because I was like, "Oh, I can do the trail, but the trial, but it's nowhere to be. It's like nowhere." Another game you could preview mm. was Anthem. Anthem was <clears throat> broken in their EA access. Yeah. I wonder if they saw pre-order fall-offs because people were posting, I'm sure, videos saying, um, my guy doesn't move when I go like, go up to my javelin. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that bug? That was a popular bug where you'd walk yep. up to your javelin and the character would turn, but it stays so it looks like it merges into two beings. Yeah. Very strange. I'm just curious. I'm scared. I'm very excited about this game, and all signs are pointing to... It's not gonna be great. I'm scared. I I I hope it's good. I hope it's good too. I want it to be the predecessor of Force Unleashed. Right. But yeah, I, I, if I use that word correctly, S- uh, spiritual successor. Thank would you. Probably I don't be know if that word. was the right word. Pre- predecessor is <clears throat> like before. Oh well, the spiritual successor. That's yeah, the one yeah, I was thinking. You want thinking like of. a spiritual successor? Yeah. To Force I, I think, Unleashed. So. I think we're getting that's just not as actiony because this seems more deliberate. Mm-hmm. Deliberate, Jesus. Deliberate. Yeah. With, uh, with how you use the star- the lightsaber, it seems much. Uh, the, the lightsaber seems like it has more weight. Yeah. Whereas in J- Force Unleashed, I'm throwing that thing around, well, making circles more, with my body. It's more R- uh, like RPG mechanic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's there's p- apparently action adventure. Yeah. Um, remember we were talking about. Uh, it's a sandboxy you can, game. You can um you you can like meditate to upgrade and things i'm curious on how yeah. that works do yeah. i get more power that way or something like yeah what abilities do i get can you can I change the lightsaber, lightsaber crystal it looks, i'm very like... excited to do that thing with the force thing that that kylo ren did where he like like he pauses the light uh the the the, 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 the pulser the blaster you, yeah the blaster thank you you, you get shot and you stop oh, the bullet yeah dude that was so cool yeah and then grab somebody and let <clears> them get hit with their own shot <clears> oh <throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Like, yeah, like I'm I said, excited. it's. I mean, it's Star Wars. I'm, it's yeah. gonna feel so yeah. good. It's. I mean, I. I don't feel like. I don't think it'll feel. Which I don't know. I don't know yet. Yeah, we don't. But know. I don't we know. Don't know. We have not got hands on. Just to be clear, we haven't touched ourselves. This is all just things. <clears throat> I'm thinking about the game. Yeah, and I don't know how like smooth or f- like it's gonna feel like you know for example with God of War with the axe. How like you know smooth and awesome it felt. No, so I'm sure. hoping with the lightsaber it'll feel the same way, just I, like how you throw it or like if you're using it. You'll yeah, feel like I a hope Jedi. so too. Like when I throw it and I cut, cut like when I you feel can, the thump in yeah. his hand, I really hope it's as good as the Leviathan. Oh yeah, yeah. 
I don't think it will be only because that is a master. I feel like at work. Yeah, but may, hey, we'll see maybe. what happens. Maybe EA will make a good Star Wars game. Yep. Moving on. <laughs> After dropping that bomb, if you forgot, we are doing our top game of the year which for every year it in took a minute the decade of 2010 alex did have some issues and you actually uh it, it almost has you it's almost like a, rev, a review of the year yeah. games almost yep because when you're going through it you're like whoa this was a rough year yep, <laughs> yep. and then you, you hit one year and you're like oh my god this is a really good year and then the amount of times that you could see a game that's been re-released Yes. My goodness. Uh, you, you can see, like, this game came out on Windows, iOS. You yep. see this thing came out on this and that. You're like, God, this game released five times in the last three years I've been looking at this yep. thing. If you did not know, we did use a Wikipedia page that basically uh, did a really nice way of showing each release in that year. And it was really cool. Yep. It was really easy. Yeah, yeah. I sent it to you this morning um, as a way to kind of help you. And, and we've been using that basically the entire time. Alex, mm. you are the nicest man alive. Yeah. Why don't you start off, man? Okay. So let's go. Let let let's go back in time. Twenty ten. Going back. Yep. Twenty ten. Uh, I'm. I don't know. Ten. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's twenty ten. Uh huh. Bunch of games are out. Okay. But this is the this was before PS4, Xbox okay. One. I have my eyes shut. All right. Ladies so, and gentlemen, shut your eyes. If you're driving, <clears throat> pull over, shut your eyes. So the games that I played a lot that year mm-hmm. that I remember right. was Alan Wake. Oh, Alan Wake. That's a good one. Skate. Sk- oh, the original? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that released in 2010. And Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep oh, on the PSP. Oh, my God. Now, this was very hard because... For sure. Those are three fantastic games. Yes. Right there. Um... I played the hell out of Skate, and I played the hell out of Kingdom Hearts. It's it was hard for me to figure out which one to give it to. Right. And I, uh, oof. I feel like I have. Which to, I feel like gives props to Skate because I we think love I have Kingdom Hearts, right? Yeah. So you you saying even humoring that mm-hmm. right is a big deal for Skate. Now I don't know if everyone knows we are Kingdom Hearts fans through and through. Mm-hmm. Right. We love yes. Kingdom Hearts. So you even saying that it is even comparable really speaks to how good Skate is. And again, yes. original Skate, right? Yes, the Got original it. Skate. Um, I think I have to give it to Skate. Oh. Because I was going to give it to... A left uh, ball? I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Very exciting. And Why? Um, Why do you give it I'm to sorry, Skate? I'm sorry. It was um, not Skate 1. Skate 3. Skate 3. That sounds right. Yeah. Skate... Uh, skate... Because Skate... Uh, excuse me. Skate 2 was 2008. Yes. Yeah. So my bad. I was You're fine. Skate three. Yeah, skate three specifically. Yeah. Um good game. Yes. Um I had to give it to to skate three just cause I played so much of it. <laughs> I mean I just kept going back. Mm-hmm. Like um because with the first skate mm-hmm. I literally did everything. Mm-hmm. Skate two, I didn't do as much because I, I guess because they, they were changing a couple stuff, but they added some stuff that there mm-hmm. was cool. Three, they pretty much blended both together, so and it was so great. I I loved the mode where you had to jump off things and beat, yes. like hurt yourself, hurt as yourself much as possible. Yep, hilarious. the bone breaks, bone breaker. Is yeah. that what it was called? It was like the bone break stuff. Yeah, I forget was, what it's called. That was hilarious. But yeah, um, being able once they because in Skate Two they gave the uh, um the thing to where you can get off the board. Yes, they had that in three. In Skate One, you couldn't get off no. the board if you did not know. Oh that. my so god! You were just always on the board, and it was very infuriating. If it you was, like got, but if you hit something and you had to like reposition yourself. Yeah, but uh, Skate Three, I like I would just get off the board, keep going, mm-hmm. but, and you could. It would be really nice because you can get off, kind of jog, yep. and then jump back on your board. Yep. So you had the momentum that you could then use to propel off things. Of yep, course. it was just one of the smoothest skateboarding games mm-hmm. I ever played, mm-hmm. and I was like, I was still at that time, like st- I was still skating, mm-hmm. so I was just like, that's odd. I'd play right. And then I mean, at the times, let's say if I'm out, then I'll play Breath by Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind, of, it was hard, yeah. but I think I have to give it to Skate. Right. And if you did not know, our jurisdiction in this uh, kind of uh, way we're grading these is the year of. So yeah. for instance, let's say Alex replayed Birth by Sleep in 2013 and liked it better than Skate Three. This is kind of 
Alex went back in time in 2010 and tried to yeah. remember what was that game for him that yeah. year. Not so, necessarily looking back at it now. Yeah, so that saying. year, I would have said Skate was my game of the year. Yeah. Skate 3. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. That is a fantastic game. Yeah. I loved Skate 3. You actually introduced me to the Skate games, mm-hmm. and I started with 3. I'm pretty sure you gave yeah. it to me to borrow, um, and yep. I played... Oh, so much and then you were like well okay, go back to one yeah start with one and try that i was like okay because one with had one awesome stuff and we were really into achievements too mm-hmm. so i was like okay i'll do skate one and yeah that one three. was really good with achievements and i was using skate one getting through everything and having you help me because i i wasn't as good as you mm-hmm. so you would kind of have to help me a little bit the, and show me how to do some of the tricks yeah because there was a lot of hard ones like um 360. especially the 360 hard anything flip, with yep. the 360 flips were yep. really hard to do um, but those they're, those were really good games, and I loved yes. them. Back to my 2010. Yeah, what was yours? 2010, right. I remember this very specifically. I come home from school. Mm-hmm. Um, it came out on a Friday. And I went to... <coughs> uh, because, of course, I was a child and I have <coughs> disposable income. I don't remember my age, but I was in high school, I'm pretty sure. And I come home. I did not know... When this game was, I knew this game was coming out. I did not know when I was getting it. Mm. And my dad surprised me with the game. He comes out, says, hey, bud, I knew you wanted this. This is a sequel to one of your favorite games. And I'm like, thanks, dad. And I play that game over the weekend. And I probably put in 60 hours over three days. Something, <clears throat> something in, insane. Yeah. I think I beat it in the weekend and then, and then started a new playthrough the next week. That game, Alex, is Mass Effect 2. Mm. One of my favorite games of all time. Oh. And originally when I played this game, did not know about... I knew of loyalty missions, mm. but when I finished the game, almost everyone died. Oh. <laughs> the only person I did a loyalty mission, because I did not know the mechanic. I thought you would just get them. Uh, I did not know you could beat the game without doing them all. Like I, didn't, yeah. I don't remember how I was confused, but I did not get everyone uh, through the mission. Yeah. And if you did not know, also in Mass Effect, you, at the end, you have to appoint people to the team or they will die if you do not have the right person. So I would always pick a leader for a mission and they would die and I did not know why. And you had to pick a specific person that like <coughs> specialized in tech. So they had to do this specific part, like things like that. Mm-hmm. And that was, so, yeah, th- this game means a lot to me. Yeah. Bioware, right? Killed it with this one. Oh god, yeah. This might be uh, one of the best RPGs I've ever played, um, uh, w- with a combination of a shooter. I don't think many games have combined shooting and RPG mechanics as well as Mass Effect is, and, and I can't think of another game that has done that mm-hmm. uh, as well as Mass Effect. I, I, off the top of my head, I can't think of a single game. Um, uh, every usually one has good RPG mechanics and mm-hmm. okay shooting. Some have really good mechanic uh, shooting mechanics, and some have like kind of redundant RPG elements. Mass Effect, I feel like, has a perfect blend of both of those. Oh yeah, and excels in both, especially with dialogue, yep. especially with the, uh, <clears throat> all the little things like romances and things like that. I love all of that. Oh yeah, and I couldn't put that down for at yeah. least probably that whole year. Oh god, yeah, you showed me that you introduced me to Mass Effect, mm-hmm. and it was two. I'm pretty sure. I introduced you to yes, yeah, because I showed you through two, yeah, and then you said you could try one if you want, yeah, because one was so different, and I was like, yeah. that's gonna really, <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot going on in one, <clears throat> yeah, one actually, is I mean, a fully fledged RPG, yeah, you can put points in medical and all, like, it's really yeah. crazy. Mass Effect Two is much more streamlined, yeah, you ha- you have your moves that oh, you can pick, yeah, I love them all, so yeah, they're so good, so good. I'll start <clears throat> this one off, 2011, mm-hmm. right. An interesting game comes out. A okay. couple, couple of interesting games. I'm going to give a few honorable mentions because this was a very good year. Yeah. I did not know this year was so good. So I, I going through, scrolling through the Wikipedia, making sure I have everything down. I'm going to name off the games mm-hmm. and then I'll tell you which one was my game of that year. Okay. Infamous 2. Mm. I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. Infamous 2. Basically my dream of being a superhero in a, a world where I can kind of save yeah. Right. I can pretend to be a superhero, Cole. Yeah. And and take make it, decisions. Yeah. Right. And you could do either or. I yeah, mean. yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I played as a, a villain the first time because I never in Mass Effect I was always Paragon. Yeah. So I was like, let me try an evil playthrough yeah. or something. So I, I went evil, and I hated that one because uh, you, <laughs> I hate that in games, 
the evil is evil you know what i mean no, it's yeah, hard yeah, to yeah. explain but yeah. i don't like evil means you're mean you know what yeah. i mean i yeah. feel like there can be better ways of showing uh, negative aspects no, than yeah, just I being um, like overtly mean yeah i mean <laughs> and just, and just yeah. killing innocent people and things like that yeah um Love the game, love the story. Yep. Uh, I do think that's better than the first one. It's almost it's one of those sequels you point to and was like that's a great example of a sequel because it took everything and kind of yeah times it by two. <laughs> um, I don't think the narrative was as good as the first one, but it was very good. Mm. Then we come to eleven, 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 mm. Skyrim, right? Yep, S- Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Yep, probably the first game I put a hundred plus hours in. And it flew by. Yeah. Flew by. Yep. I remember one of the first missions I did was the mission you get the Mace of Malkbog. Mm. And the way you did it was you had to trick a priest. Um, You went to this house. It was haunted by a demon. And the way you got the power, he said he would promise you power if you brought back uh, 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 this guy. So you can get the guy to come back and be like, hey, I need you to exercise the house. So either you can exercise the house and get the demon out or Mm. you can make a deal kill the priest guy and get a super cool mace yeah alex guess what i did i got the super cool mace <laughs> <laughs> so i killed the dude got the mace the mace is like one of the best things in the game mm-hmm. it has a really cool mechanic where if you kill someone you take their soul and put in a little gem and the gem and yeah. you can use it to power other things <clears throat> yep it's really cool loved it yeah love skyrim again 100 plus hours oh, right? God, yeah. played enough of it right yep. <laughs> batman arkham city is the next one mm. alex when batman arkham asylum <clears throat> came out and you told um, a, a, a young Elijah, right? Yep. You sit him down. He's like, "Hey, you like Batman, right? You like Superman, right?" There's a video game about Batman. I'm like, I'm like, shut up. Yeah, right, right. This sounds like it sounds like it's made up. And then you say it's good. I'm like, All right, oh, now God. I know you're lying, <laughs> <laughs> right? I know I'm from the world of Iron Man. That garbage game superman 64 superman 64 i played that game i remember specifically mm. playing that game mm. those rings very clearly i remember uh spider the spider-man games which weren't that bad but weren't great the ones where you can't go past a certain time uh, like the per, uh, like you gotta be swinging the whole time you can't if you go below yeah. the skyscraper I think that or whatever was spider-man 2 I think. yeah it's either one or two i yeah. think it was two um uh, and those weren't great didn't hate them but i i, I didn't nah. love them yeah and um uh, Thor. Ugh. That, uh, one of the worst games I've ever played, period. Yes. Right? So when you tell me Batman Arkham City is coming out, I'm like, like what cool. Is that? Yeah. I don't know what that is. So I, I start reading about it. I hear about Arkham Sound, play Arkham Sound. That got it for me. Yep. After he, after he finished playing it, he let me play it. So I play it. Super cool, right? Having so much fun. Yep. And then I hear about Arkham City and I'm like, whoa, that sounds really cool. And then I look it up to read about it. And mm. they say, oh, there's a hidden Easter egg in Arkham Asylum that you can look about Arkham City. And if you remember, Alex, if you go into the warden's office in Arkham Asylum, mm. there is a breakable wall that you cannot tell unless you break it. Yeah. You break it and you go through it and it has the plans for Arkham City. So they already put That's cool. the thing that would follow the game. Yeah. They already had the kind of sequel hints in the game. Yeah. No one found that until they announced it. Wow. When they announced yeah. it, they were like, wait a minute, what? And they put it, and they found it, and they're like, "There's the plans right there. Like it's crazy. We all could have known, but no one found it." That's funny. Yeah, I didn't. I never knew about it. Mm-hmm. Fantastic game. Loved it. Yeah. Love the ending. Mm-hmm. Ending's very emotional. Yep. I love the <clears throat> through line with Catwoman. Right. Mm-hmm. Bat, Bat and Cat. If you read comics right now, you know Bat that reference. Cat. Bat yep. and Cat is a great through line in the Batman comic books right now, and I love every second of it. Tom King likes playing with my emotions. <laughs> and Uncharted 3 is my next game, Alex. Man. The game, Alex, when I said this year is chock full of great games, Yep, they are chock full of them. Uncharted 3 is one of the best narrative through-lined games, right? Because yeah. so, it's very linear, right? You don't really move yeah. off the beaten path, right? It's yeah. straight line, but where you run straight line, you're going to get to the end of the game. Yeah. And you're playing as Nathan Drake, and you feel awesome. Throwing yep. grenades. Oh, God, yeah. Not even looking. Yeah, Grenade just, that way. Yep. You shoot this way. Right? You feel like an action hero. I was about to say, I thought I was good with Halo grenades. Goodness. I know, right? Random grenades. For whatever reason, they blink really red. Yep. Terrifyingly. Oh, God, yeah. Really good. Everyone yep. knows in Charter, right? Yep. Portal 2 is the next one. Mm-hmm. Alex? Yep. 2011, just throwing games in my eyeballs. Yep. 
I was playing the single player, loved it, right? All the puzzles are really fun. A uh, hilarious game. And oh, then we God, played yes. it together. Yes, we did. I remember this. What did you think of the co-op? I, oh, I loved it. We played it so much. <laughs> yes. That's it, what, that's there what, were parts where we got stuck, too. That's one of my honorable time. mentions was Portal 2. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved Portal <clears throat> 2. Yep. I loved every second of that game. I... I love being back. I um, yeah. loved specifically in the f- uh, main campaign when GLaDOS turns into potato. Yep. You remember that part? Yes, I do. Hilarious. Yep. You just carry around you talking just carry. to you the whole time. It's yep. so funny. And then um, what is the guy's name? Uh, you're the, talking about the one that talks the, to you all the time? Um, Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, he's British. <laughs> I know that helps. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'll look it up. Yeah, look it up for me. That I love that voice act. Everything about him, hilarious. Space, space. Yeah, that that one guy. That yeah, guy it, I'm not gonna lie. He does sound like the dude in Assassin's Creed, Sean, the one that always talks to you on the intercom type of thing. The British guy. You remember him? He does kind of, kind of, kind of. Order two. I'm sure British people are like, we don't all sound alike. While well, they're sipping tea. Did you just spit your tea out? <laughs> But again, couldn't couldn't say enough. I love the mechanics that something as simple as put two portals on these specific parts made for such a complex and amazing game. And I love when people like that get inventive. Wheatley. Wheatley. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. And, and did you get the voice actor's name by chance? Uh, let me see. I know it's Wheatley. Uh, voiced by British comedian. Stephen or Stephen uh, Merchant? Stephen Merchant, gotcha. No, it means nothing to me, but that man is hilarious. Yes, he is. That man's hilarious. Again, <clears> fantastic <throat> game. Alex, my game of the year for 2011, if you had to have asked me, mm. would have been Uncharted 3. Yeah. yeah. Has to be. It, it It's one of those years that gives me pause. Uncharted 3, Arkham City, Skyrim. I'm in that... Yeah, trifecta. Oh, I'm yeah. like, where do I stop? I that don't know if that I want Bermuda Triangle. And like, where? Like, I, I played so much of Arkham City and loved it. I did all the Riddler trophies and got the ending. Yep. Like, do I do I go with that Skyrim? I played 200 plus <laughs> hours of. So yep. like, why wouldn't I pick that one? I did all the DLC, Uncharted Three. I loved. Like, do I go with that? Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just love the set pieces so much in that one. So By it's the way, really hard. We know exactly who Steven Merchant is. Who is this? So, man? do you remember Logan, the movie Logan? Yes, I remember. That. Remember uh, the I forget his name. Guy with the hand. The guy, the albino looking one that can't be in the sun. Oh, that's him. That's Steve. That's Stephen Whitley. What? Oh my god. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I, that's him. Okay. Yeah. So he's, Fun he's, fact, guys: the guy in Logan that's an albino is also Whitley. Yep, he's uh, yeah. But no, uh, he's been a lot of stuff. Again, enough about Stephen Merchant. <laughs> the trifecta, I believe, goes to Uncharted 3 at the end of the day. Alex, I've been talking for way too long about 2011. Mm-hmm. How is your 2011 game of the year looking? Let's see. I had a couple of mentions. Um, Portal 2, for one. Yeah, we talked a little bit about Yes, that. we did. Um... We uh, we talked about. I mean, I, we played that so much. It was so f- so much fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, Dead Island. Mm. I enjoyed that game you so love much. This game. Yes, I. We played it together, or did um, we play it like together? As in, I played it. Yeah, you played. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, you. we played like that. Um, but I had just played. I think re- uh, played Mirror's Edge. Not. Bef- not long before that oh and i loved parkour and stuff like that yeah, i mean, mirror's I, edge I like fun. doing parkour yeah um when i heard that there was a mirror's edge type game like a like a parkour running zombie game mm-hmm. i was like oh i gotta try this mm-hmm. but and you're like dying light is gonna be so yeah, good right in a few years <laughs> right but i mean like this wasn't fully parkour yeah for sure but no but yeah, you could run around dying light in, like made it so yeah. much better but with this one i mean you can climb some stuff you can yeah, run around yeah you can run around um it it, it, it was more uh open adventure yeah, than yeah, any yeah. other zombie game we got before yeah yeah because right? yeah. we got dead rising so that's kind it was kind of like that um but, but it, that person, was a like, that was a third person adventure type yeah. of thing um this is more of an rpg like game yes because you have quests and mm-hmm. stuff like that but it, oh XP. my god it, yeah what xp 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And levels. And oh yeah, no, the the achievements in this game was was awesome. Yeah, they were super um, easy. Yeah, you had just do so much of them. The uh, the guns you get, you can mod them. You can put like electric bullets to them. It's so cool. One of the wackiest things I remember from that game is mm. you had a machete. Oh, yeah. And then one of the bonuses was getting like a battery and barbed wire, <laughs> and you wrapped the knife. Yep. In barbed wire. Yep. It's like that kind of. Defeats the effectiveness of the knife. Of the knife, yeah. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it was fun. I played so much of it. I even played the second one, uh, Riptide, when it came out. Did the mm-hmm. same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Skyrim. Yes. Um, I had to put Skyrim because uh, I played oh, Oblivion yes. so much. Yeah. I love that game. That was my one of my first RPGs that I played, other than the Ma- uh, Mass Effect when you, if, uh, when you had me do it. Because yeah. at first I was like, I've never played RPGs. I all I did was play shooters. Mm. Got into Oblivion. I probably played that game so many times. Mm-hmm. I still have a PC copy here, mm-hmm. and um, I did everything for Oblivion. So when Skyrim came out, I was like, "Oh, I gotta do it." Mm-hmm. Um, Skyrim is my game of the year for 2011. That's good. Cause again, I put so over good. 200 hours. I yeah. I looked at it and it said over. It's like 211. I th- I think mine was similar maybe right over like 201 yeah. or something like that and i did all the quests mm-hmm. and everything all i had left was the little miscellaneous one to where you just keep doing the same thing over and over again that's yeah. all i had in my quest log like there did was nothing else to do dlc uh yeah they had hearth fire hearth fire there was um, um the zombie dra- dragonborn oh, sorry, uh yeah dragonborn and then, and then the um, uh, the the vampire one yeah the one that you can be a vampire or werewolf yeah yeah that um, was good yeah, oh god, it's so good. Mm. Uh, but I, it was, it was. I, I love Elder Scrolls. I mean, even to this day, I'll still go back to it. <laughs> Alex, mm. take me into 2012. Oh man, I want. I'm gonna close my eyes. Describe to me 2012. <sighs> what are the movies? <laughs> I don't What's know. in theaters? What's in theaters 2012? I don't know, honestly. The movie 2012 where everybody <laughs> thought we were dying <laughs> and the world was ending? I forgot <laughs> about <laughs> that. Yes, everyone thought we were going to... Dude, hey, Alex, mm-hmm. the Mayans, they mm-hmm. knew everything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they did. yeah, they did. They knew everything. They knew... They they know how it's going to go down with this end of the world nonsense. They know They know how it's going to go. Yep. All right. Let's trust them blindly. Oh, God. Did you watch that movie 2012? Yes, I did. I did, too. I, I I remember watching that and being like, what is this movie? And the point of the movie is just seeing stuff blow up and die. And just freaking out. Yeah. I remember that one scene where the guy's like talking on the phone like to the people. Mm-hmm. And um, he says, I don't know, it's a stupid scene. But he, he, like, he says something, he's like, goodbye. And the camera turns and a giant... Tide is coming Tide, to yeah. crush the entire place, and then people are panicking, and running, and he knows he's not. He's like, yeah, he knows I'm, he's I'm dead. But uh, that that movie was <laughs> very. You know, you know how many people were like, "Oh, this is happening." Yeah, but a few people freaked out. I remember the day of because I was a kid, so it, it kind of freaked me out. And the day of mm. it, when it happened, everyone was like normal, like nothing was happening. I was like, I can't I guess we're just gonna, yeah, be normal. <laughs> yeah, it's like then I guess this didn't happen. I guess this is not a big deal. What's your first game out? Do you have any honorable mentions? Or are we going right in? I'm just going right in. Just going right in. Let's, go, let's do it. I'm ready. Mass Effect Three. What? Mass, Mass, Effect, Mass Effect Three is also no my game. So we can kind of have a discussion. Let me tell you my story. Okay. Please. I walk into GameStop. Uh huh. I'm like, it's a, what's it's the GameStop look like? The GameStop, this is a pretty big GameStop. Okay. It's like one of the biggest I've ever cool. ever seen. Um, Can I, Do you have square footage by chance? Oh, God. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, Mass Effect 3, how's it? I walk in. Mm-hmm. It's right after school. Um, uh, my dad brought, took me because we, we had nothing else to do. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, I got to go to GameStop. Uh, I had some money. I was like, oh, let's see what's, uh, let's see what's out. I want to uh, get a new game. I'm looking around, not seeing anything. Mm-hmm. I go to, I, mind you, I'm going to the new 360 section. Mm-hmm. That was still a thing. Yep. 2012, guys. I over here look, and all I see is a big poster and a bunch of the uh, cover in the cases. Mm-hmm. Mass Effect 3. And I'm like, it's in that, out? In that boss cover art where the guy yep. is standing there. Shepard. Staring at you, walking with a gun in his hand. And Omni the Omni tool. And, Omni and it's like, oh. <laughs> Dude, I looked at that. I'm like. This is out? Like, I didn't know it was out because mm. I had just, it was like maybe 
you had I had just played Mass Effect two and like a maybe the the year or a couple of year the year a couple of year before right played two and I'm like oh this is awesome I went back and played one uh huh played two again to right. get all my romances and all that stuff in total and I'm like right. oh I can't wait from three I was in back then I didn't really know to look yeah. up release dates and when I wasn't keeping up with anything yeah. I just waited till I saw it mm-hmm. man as soon as I saw it grabbed it. He was like, and it was like, it wasn't even, not even five minutes. Mm-hmm. And my dad was like, you're done? I was like, I already got what I need. Mm-hmm. I was like, I want, it. I want this place. This is it. He's like, yep. all right, got it. Yep. God, it was, and I went home, took that plastic off, that fresh new plastic. Mm-hmm. Didn't have to wait for it to install. Mm-hmm. Just put it right in and started. And gentlemen, it just played. I don't know if yeah. you guys remember that. It started, <laughs> yeah. And just, it, it just, just, it just, it just, it just, it just, and just started my journey. Oh. Did you import your save? I remember it being broken at launch. Yes. The actual importing your save. Was it fixed by the time um, you got it? I think it was because I think it was the first Well, week. I got it on release day because when I asked, they said that, they, they, that game had just came out that day. Oh, so, so it, it must have not worked because I remember the first week you couldn't upload your save Yeah. because for some reason the, ga- the game, it didn't interpret the save correctly. Well, I did like, like a bunch of playthroughs, so I think I did that afterwards. Cause oh, no. I, the first, I did too because yeah. the first two playthroughs, it was broken. And I used like just the default like a, I made a person. I made yeah. him with a mohawk. I don't know why, yeah. but I, I yeah, moha- mohawk. mohawks were where the, where the stop. Uh, mohawks there. were cool. Mohawks and spike belts. Mohawks were cool. Uh, yeah, spike belts. That's true. Yeah. I had like four of those. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I had one. Um, and this game specifically, and I usually like give a caveat because mm. like Mass Effect Three is like one of my top games of all time mm. and it's usually with the caveat of well with the Citadel DLC specifically is what makes oh it so good right God. but and if you can do me a favor and look up real quick when the C- Citadel DLC came out because if it's this year it still counts um, but I remember you know we had the shenanigans with the ending right people hated the ending um, and I understood why right it's your choice of colored light um, very weird and ambiguous ending too and they did an extended cut like a movie with more of the ending, which was, again, weird. Mm-hmm. But I loved the game. I loved the finality. I loved that we were working towards an end, right? So we were all like on this journey together towards the end to see how Earth was going to be taken back from the Reapers. And we had such a cool through line with how we killed the first Reaper in the first game. And then we crushed the... Um, Oh, what's his name? What are their names? Do I? The evil people from the second game, like the main evil people. Oh, oh. Not they were made from Protheans. They um, were the bug people. Um, the collection. Thank you, the collectors. Um, collectors. And, thank yeah, you. we like yep. destroyed their base and everything, and then we go into yep. three with all of our endings. Like I kept the Rekni. I mm. blew up the collector's base in two. Um, I had Ashley with me originally. Yeah. Um, and. It, with everything slowly coming together to make a fantastic game, mm. so good. Um, the Citadel DLC came out exactly a year after it was because uh, the game came so out close. March six, twenty twelve. Mm. This actually came out Mar- uh, March fifth, twenty thirteen. So you. a, 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 a day, year, about yeah. a year. Yeah. So a year uh, after. Okay. okay. Still my favorite. <laughs> oh God, yes. God, Mass Effect three was. Oh. You have any special memories? That With Mass Effect three, yeah, that it was that, that, and yeah. I mean. Cause any specific part that you remember very fondly that you loved? Um, I, mm, oh yeah, of course the Citadel because mm-hmm. I like when everybody is there, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, I that that's just a cool cool picture. Oh right yeah, the the literally the picture everybody, at the end, yep. and then the weird uh story of your clone and th- like <laughs> like just funny oh, yes. stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. just hilarious things like that. Like oh, you fight your clone. Like is, there's a guy posing as Shepard. Things like that. You know, hilarious things like that honorable mention for this year again walking dead oh one. god yes the amount of times i've played that game i, I played so that the first time i think no i played on 360 but then i played it again on my pc mm, i so, remember you told me you were yeah. doing that i was like wow interesting yeah i'm, I'm surprised it played on my yeah, pc when yeah. at the time but hey yeah it did i loved my uh walking uh i loved walking dead and how mm special that game was and and how that was kind of the first game that evoked such serious emotion from me clem 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 um 
and I loved Cullen Time. You feel for the main character and all your side kind of like posse you got rolling with you. Every death means something. I'm attached to almost every character except Duck. <laughs> duck uh, kind of sucks. Um, and he screams a lot. Fucking Duck. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Oh, God. I, lo- I love that game, too. It was probably one of the... F- not one, that first one, but it was probably one of the only games that have made me cry. Yeah, me too. Cause, oh. I've cried a, f- a lot more times because I'm an emotional wreck, but yeah. that was the very first Yeah, lately, yeah. <laughs> lately. <laughs> All late. these games. Just lately. I wasn't playing a video game. I was just crying. Yeah, I was, I was um, just sitting there. Alex, mm. we've closed out 2012. Yes, we have. We're walking into 2013, right? I think we know what we're going to hit I on think we know one. what we're going to touch on. Mm. But before we hit that, yeah. a word from our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, Patreon.com slash Easy Achievers is where you'll get the hotness, the sweet hotness. Yes, that sweet, sweet thing you need and love and want to hear. Give us a dollar. That gives you our exclusive Patreon every single month. That gives you the ability to chat with us specifically through Patreon.com slash Easy Achievers. Also, give us five bucks. Everything early as soon as it's recorded. Sometimes that's as early as three days. Sometimes that's as early as, I don't know, a week, I guess. I'm not sure. We record things at weird times, but your support guarantees that we can keep doing this we can keep doing what we love we can keep talking to you our audience thank you so much for listening back to your rather schedule programming yeah 2013 Mm. right Mm. we open up to 2013 alex in the theaters iron man 3 is playing Mm -hmm. man of steel Mm. Frozen. frozen frozen let it go X Play and Attack of the Show see their end that year as well. We ah. all cry collectively as an American nation. I still do. We still do every now and then. Yep. But we're not talking about back. any of that. We're going to our game of the years for that year. Yes. We all know what we're most likely going to pick, right, Alex? Yep. For 2013, right? Yep. So I'm going to give a very honorable mention to Bioshock Infinite. Oh, such a good game. Fantastic. Love the story. Love the gunplay. Mm. Do not love that they eliminated all horror elements from the franchise but this was yeah. a different type of game it was fun. we were doing the opposite of going underneath into the sea going up above the clouds so it is hard to add an element of horror which there was i wouldn't say there was no horror there were uneasy moments but mm. nothing as equal to the horrors you saw in bioshock one mm. the whole through line with um what was the original what was the main antagonist's name columbia I know that was the place. What's oh, that dude's uh, name? The guy that you play as, or you play uh, uh, both? I guess. You, oh, you talking about co- uh, co- uh, you're common, so close. Uh, Commonworth Co- Cos? No, uh, uh, we're so close. Oh god, I everyone's know screaming at their it's, AirPods. Uh, <laughs> com- it's common something. Bioshock. I have to say it. Infinite. Uh, C- Comstein. Com. Com. Comstock. Comstock. Com- there Comstock. we go. Comstock. Yep. Sounds like a brand Comstock. of chicken broth. Comstock. I knew <laughs> some common. Com something. But we talk about Comstock. Yep. It, all that story is amazing, right? Yes. Go figure out. You are in fact Comstock. Woo, mm. Boom. Right. Bra- breaks the game. Feels amazing. Mm. Everything with Elizabeth is great. Yep. That twist at the end where you can see the future without you. Yep. And she becomes like a dictator. Booker is is Comstock. Comstock, yeah. You can see that um the uh, you can see what happens if you are not in the equation. She takes over Col- uh, Columbia and attacks New York and things like crazy stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Just so such cool things. Yeah. Fantastic game. Love the through line, love the shooting, love yeah. the upgrade system, love the tonics, all that. Mhm. But we're going to talk about the game of the year. So, before that, oh, I actually have a couple honorable mentions. Oh. I have to. Okay. Because I'm excited. they're really good. Go ahead. So, the first one I want to give, and it's still going strong, Grand Theft Auto V. Jesus that Christ. game came out in 2013, and that's still being sold. Fun fact, six months if you If you count sales from now, yeah, like six months ago, that game has made six million dollars. Yeah. In just the game sales. Yeah. Who's buying these games? Not including. How does not everyone own this copy? 
They, they you know why? It's because they keep buying <laughs> copies of different versions. Yeah, probably. 360, PS3, Xbox yeah. One, PS4. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like, that's four different versions. It right is there. insane, but it's good. God, yeah. It is good. I do, I do respect that. It's changed the Grand Theft Auto. Like, For sure. Yeah. It's changed the entire it, structure of Rockstar. Oh, God, because they added the Grand Theft Auto online. Mm-hmm. Added the online. They saw the revenue change, and I'm sure that literally got a mixer and completely mixed up that entire studio and how they think of their output and what they use. Yeah. Because... They were originally making storyline DLC. Mm. I remember that very vividly. They were making um, a more ballad of Gay Tony, Lost in the Damned yeah. situation, and then they released online, and they got injected with money. Oh, and they God, were like, yes. oh, we're not doing any story anymore. We're doing only online things. Oh, just yep. online, nothing yep. story. And they've kept their word. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been online, and, and it's I been mean, consistent. They, they add story. Through Point. the online. That's through true. online a little yeah. bit, yeah. A lot of crazy stuff, too. Apparently, oh God, you yeah. can stop wars. There's, like, yeah. wars I mean, or something going my, on. Um, you can own bunkers for some reason. Yeah, my little brother and I were just playing it a couple months ago, and we did the the Doomsday Heist, and we did wind up getting the DeLorean, the flying the flying DeLorean. Is that cool? It's actually Is that as cool. cool as it seems? Yes. Okay. The only issue with it, Uh-oh. you go sl- you go slow uh, in the sky. Do you know why? But you... You go 80 miles an hour in the sky. Do you know why? Mm. Oh, wait. You go 80. Oh, okay. That might be deliberate. I was about to say, probably to keep the game from crashing. Mm. No, um, no. Because I, I have a uh, motorcycle that flies, and it goes way faster. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, but no. The, yeah. But no. Um, I think the, the DeLorean, they're in the sky. I think it goes around 80-something miles an hour, and I'm wondering if they did that on purpose. Because eighty something, yeah. So yeah. it's pretty cool, isn't it? Eighty eight. Yeah, it's eighty eight miles an hour. Okay. But when it when you drive it, it's like faster. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was it was it was fun. No, for sure. I love Grand Theft Auto Five. I love the story. I didn't play much online because I just could not find myself caring. Yeah. But I do love the uh, like you say the um, uh, the feeling of Grand Theft Auto. Oh that, yeah, that yeah. You can just kind of do whatever, and yep. you can have a fun time. Yeah. Um, I never really gravitated towards these kind of Grand Theft Auto games because just I was never yeah. really. My first it, one was, was Vice fun. City. My first one was San Andreas. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Eh, no, I think my first one was Vice City. Yeah. yeah I played the sure. hell out of Vice City and on my computer. Mm. I loved it. Yeah, I, I loved Vice City. Yeah. Um, the second one I was wanted to mention, one of my favorite games, Black Flag. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag came out October 29, 2013. I just had that moment where I'm like, I forgot it. And that is one of them, Alex. Thank you for bringing that up. That is a game worth mentioning and worth remembering. That God. is my second favorite Assassin's Creed game. Yeah. Um, under Odyssey, of course. Yes. Uh, love that game. Love the pirate theme. Love the main character. God, yes. I know people blame that game for not being Assassin's Creed. It's really more of a pirate game. Still, I, I get it, but you still it's a, great. You still an assassin. I don't right. Uh, like I love the premise that he isn't an assassin until no, you yeah. finish the game. Yeah. He's a pirate that stole a dude's clothes and yeah. pretended. He even went undercover in Templar business and pretended he was still doing like such uh, yeah, like, oh God, so yeah. cool. There's such so cool good. mechanics in that game. The, 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 music. the whole crew, the shanties, yes. are something completely being like, able to uh, just do just driving the ship. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've God. decided that's my game of the year. <laughs> 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 that um, is very hard to choose between that and what's coming up next. Yes. But I love love that game. Um, love loved upgrading my ship. Oh, God, I yes. fascinated through my ship. I I remember playing that hundred percent twice. Yes, um, not fully one hundred percent with the chests and all that, but one hundred percent like almost with the achievements. Yeah, where I um uh, fully upgraded the ship, and you know that kind of gets you to do almost everything in the game. And I did that in three hundred and sixty and Xbox One mm-hmm. because I love that game so much. Yeah, um, I got one more just because I I really okay. enjoyed this game. Okay, uh, Beyond Two Souls. Okay. I, All right. I, I, I don't hate it. I don't know why, but when I first played this game, I was like, oh, this is cool. It has Ellen Page in it. It has William Dafoe in it. I'm down. I'll try it out. I don't know why, but dude, I love this game. I like the game a lot. I don't love it, but I do like, like I the played game a it. Lot. I love the themes. Played it. I, I love the idea that you have an invisible poltergeist. Yeah, you have you it's have something attached to you from the other side kind of thing. Yeah. Like, it's really cool. I like uh, it. It's an item. Uh... Oh yeah, I remember what that is too. It's your, um, it's, a, it, uh, it's your brother that died, right? Mm, I believe I don't remember. It's your twin that died in the womb. Honestly, I don't it's remember. Crazy. It's been so long. It's something crazy like that. It's like 
it sounds a little crazy, but like I think that's what it is. It's a, uh, it's an, it's just a. Uh, the other is it's an incorporeal entity named Aiden, a separate soul linked to Jody since birth. And Jody is the girl who's being played by Ellen Page. Um, she had apparently. The thing was that she she has supernatural powers that through her psychic link to Aiden. So like he, he's not the. Uh, um, it, I don't remember her. I'm thinking of it might be a movie or something, but I. That's a premise of something. I don't remember what it I is. I think I know what you're ta- I know what you're talking about. I just forget what it is. I don't remember. But no, I really enjoy this game because this game also you can play it as two players. One one person could be Aiden, the poltergeist, and the other person could be Jody. So I thought mm-hmm. it was interesting. Yeah, that was fun. We did that together. Yeah. But yeah, no, I really enjoyed it uh, at that time, so that's why I just really wanted to give it a mention. I agree. Onward. Now let's get to the big one. To the big one. Yeah. DuckTales Remastered. No, I'm just kidding. It's Last of Us. Last of Us. Last of Us. Last of you and me, man. Last of everyone. Everyone. Yeah. But more importantly, The Last of Us. Us. Yeah. Special game. And I don't know if you know this. I didn't play this until PS4 came out with their remaster. So I went a full... Was that four years? I think nah, it might be three years. I don't think it was that long, but I managed to not hit spoilers. Now, yeah, to be dude, fair, same. I guess you could kind of spoil that game, but like, I mean, there's not like a really easy way to spoil the game, so maybe that's why. Because, mm. like, what do you say to spoil the game? Like, he he's a bad guy kind of but not really i mean like, yeah. I, I all know. i knew is that the 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 guy joel and then the girl were just together and they're going somewhere that's yeah. all i knew for like the whole time yeah i yeah so I heard it was so good but i never played it yeah never because i didn't have a ps3 available yeah. to available, me i yeah. had one but i like i couldn't i didn't have the money to buy a game and play on it so yep. I, I wasn't trying to do that but when i did play it oh, Alex, man so good god so good so so good. Now, if we are condemning <clears throat> to our rules, technically 2013 for me would be Bioshock Infinite mm-hmm. because I did not play Last of Us in 2013. Mm, good point. So good point. Bioshock Infinite for me would be 2013. Did yep. you play Last of Us then? Uh, no, I didn't play. I, I waited. So technically okay. um, 2013. What would I, that go to for you? Uh, Black Flag. Mm, that would probably go for me too then. Yeah. yeah, Black Flag for me as well. Yeah, Black Flag. I completely for- I, I I again forgot that Black Flag came out that year. Yep. For some reason, I want to say played... it's a 2014 game, and I don't know why. What 2014? Well, because it's there because was, it's well, there that was weird a... Xbox One. Yeah, because that, well, what... Xbox One came out that that the end of that year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I played it on 360, and then immediately, uh, like a week yep. later, I think I bought an Xbox One or something like that. I don't remember. Yeah, no, I played Black I Flag it. on. I played Black Flag on launch, mm-hmm. played it, and then I got it again on mm-hmm. Xbox One, and I played mm-hmm. it again. Yeah, yeah. For me, it would be Black Flag. Yeah, twenty fourteen, Alex. Twenty four. We're walking into twenty fourteen. There's a few. There's a few things. <laughs> oh God! I'm sorry. I what just happened? got <laughs> just 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 tell us. What I happened. just got a text message from my beautiful wife, mm-hmm. and it says. I have a Pizza Hut order <laughs> locked oh God. and loaded. So if you're not back in like an hour-ish, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, God. Meanings. Kind of like a threat. <laughs> Meanings, ladies and gentlemen, we need to speed this up along a little bit. Because if not... <laughs> and if not, I'm not getting pizza, apparently. I, 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 I don't know if that... I don't know what the threat is. I'm not really sure if the threat for... Like, I'm not sure if the... Like, the threat is the pizza will be here Mm -hmm. and you will miss out on first pizza or the threat of the pizza and I won't get any. She's usually not that mean. I think think you need to make sure that you just get the pizza. Yeah, I feel like... I feel, yeah. I agree. I agree. Alex, we're walking into 2014, right? Yes, we are. (laughs) I've done coke two or three times in this. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. I don't even remember how old I am. I keep forgetting how... What, I was... That was five was, years ago. Was, it was no, it, uh, 2014. Yeah, you're. I'm thinking 2013. I, I'm, I'm 2014 was five years. So ago. five years. So yeah. I, I was. Uh, I was 18. Yep. All right. I'm on the dock. Learning, learning to drive. Got my first job as a bagger. Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Not for those first few months, because yeah, you, you're like, oh, it's you, a new job. Heck well, yeah. you make bank and you don't get taxed, but uh, I'm getting semantics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we're walking in. 
Right, Alex. What do you what, what what's happening in you, twenty fourteen? What's happening? You finding your sexual identity? Uh, no, not mm, that. No, because no, okay. I was already with you know the one and only. Yeah, we've been together for so long. Was, <laughs> he said happily. Oh, of course, no, of course. I mean, we've been together. For, we've know, been together for ten years. Mm. And that's um, how, that's how that went, right? Do what? Anything eventful happened in twenty fourteen for you? Uh, twenty fourteen. Uh, like I said, it's been a while ago. I mean, I graduated in twenty fourteen. So I graduated high school. Biggest grossing movies in That's, 2014, yeah. Transformers, A's of Extinction, good lord. The dinosaur one, okay. The the Hobbit, that's a great way of remembering it. Yeah. The Hobbit, The Battle of Five Armies, which I'm pretty sure is the bad one. Don't people not like that Battle one? Battle of the Five Armies, that was the last one. That so. was the last one. Yeah. For some reason, there was, I've watched it once. For some reason, there's like two movies. Guardians of the Galaxy. Shout out to that movie. Yes, it does. Shout out Maleficent. To that. It was good. And Hunger Game Part 1, uh, Monkey J. Mocking J Part One, yeah, Mocking J Part good, One, good interesting, movie, good movie. X Men: Days of Future Past. We were just talking. Oh, about hey, that, hey, there you go. Um, and how terrible the movies. Uh, no, it's not. It's not I'm terrible. Kidding. I'm just. It's okay. I'm just kidding. The other X Men's are pretty bad. That one's actually pretty good. How about I say anything Wolverine is awesome? Everything else, no. Yeah, everything can stay. Yeah. But those were the top rooms, just to give you in that mindset. 2014. Mm. We're. I think lattes are becoming popular. I don't yeah. remember at what point everyone. It started drinking coffee, like really expensive Starbucks coffee. But yeah. I feel like it's around 2014. Yeah. 2014, <laughs> you guys look at it, not a great year for video games. <laughs> uh, at, not, at least yeah. not for me. There was a lot. For, there was a good, a good bit for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm gonna give, I got some mentions. I have one. Oh. <laughs> so I got how about, about you give me your mentions? I got about four or five. Maybe I missed a few. So how about you give me your right. list? So let's go with, let's say, let's see this. We got... Bungie no longer with Halo. Halo is not part of Bungie oh, anymore. Bungie. They Why wanted to create. They wanted to create a new game. This game is called Destiny. Oh damn! Destiny has uh is it came out September 9th, twenty fourteen, and we were all like, "What is Destiny? Like it's it's open and then, world and is then it online?" Go, and then I go, "Your Destiny is what's going to happen." Yeah, no. Right. <laughs> um. But no, Destiny was awesome. I we enjoyed it. We played the heck out of it, and till this day, we're playing Destiny two. Yeah. Um. So no, Destiny is one. I have to give that. Um. Uh. What the Dying Light? We were just talking about that earlier. Dying Light's the that the the good the the good parkour free running zombie game. Yeah. We're still waiting on Dying Light 2, which looks awesome. Which looks awesome. Oh, it looks awesome. I'm excited. Hopefully, it sticks to being awesome. Yeah. Um, um, Alien Isolation came out that year. Oh, I've yet to beat that game, game because yeah. I'm just terrified to play it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. It I is. Say, it is. Hard. But no, I I love Alien, so I like I have to put it in there because I just I I love Alien. Right. Um, there was another one I wanted to shout out to. Oh, Sunset Overdrive. Good job, Alex. I can't believe I missed that one. Sunset I love Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive. Hilarious game, fun mechanics. God, yes. That grinding. Insomniac. I know it didn't sell great. Mm. And that's partly because the Xbox One made a lot of mistakes. Mm. But why don't you come on back here? Bring Spider Man with you, though. Yep. Don't don't leave him. Bring him with me. I know, guys, you can't it doesn't work that way, but humor me. Yep. Bring Spider Man to Xbox One, right? Oh. And then we make Sunset Overdrive. I'll replay that with again. Spider Man, again. Oh. Like, like, come on, let's buddy, buddy. And then okay. I get no. Insomniac has been purchased, oh, so God. we're never seeing them again. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what is it called? I got South Park Stick of Truth. I forgot that game came out that year. That game was so fun. Oh, it did. Yeah, March fourth, that changes everything. I'm March fourth, twenty fourteen. But that's a really good game. Yeah, it hilarious. Is. Yep. Can't believe they <clears throat> na- like you can you can tell Trey Parker and Matt Stone mm. were on. Like I thought I was watching the show the whole time. The, you you could tell they were on their asses. Oh, yes. The entire time. Yes. Like you could tell they were like, all right, we're gonna. And you're like, well, I'm gonna have to review that. You know that, right? And you're like, yep. okay, Matt and Trey, make sure it's you the can show. tell. They had that somehow mm. perfected mm. into the show. Yep. 
And they brought it up one time, and I just never thought about it. They were like, that is the longest South Park content ever yes. existed. Like, there is nothing comparable because we had the movie once, but yeah. that's not comparable to a 30 hour video game. Oh. So, yeah. like, it, it's that it, it has such a special place, and I hope they're not done. Because if you remember correctly, South Park's Stick of Truth, they released that game, and they said, we will never make another video game because it was so stressful. And about two to three years later, they came out South the Park. The Fractured But The hole. Fractured But Whole. And I remember they were like, yeah, so you might remember we said we'll never make a, uh, another game again. But then they dropped the dump truck of money on us, so I guess we're here we, making yeah, another game. Like, hey, hey, they're, they're honest, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but fantastic game. But Hilarious. Yeah. But let's get to the one that we really want to mention. Let's do it. Legend, I think you and I both got the same one. We do. It's a thing called Dragon Age Inquisition. Rawr. That's what dragons do. That's what dragons do? Yeah. Tell me how. Keep going. Tell me what dragons do. Rawr. And they do. Because <laughs> they, cause they fly. Yeah. Um, Dragon Age. Good. Special place in my heart. Yes, it does. I love Dragon Age. <laughs> Recently, they had their 10th anniversary, I'm pretty sure. Because they came out in 2009 with Dragon Age Origins. Mm-hmm. Um, Bioware, again, killing it. Right? With their Mass Effect trilogy, their Dragon Age trilogy. This is technically <coughs> the third in the Dragon Age um, line of video games. Yep. It's kind of like three. Um, uh, but I I love Inquisition. Yep. I love... I, I hated that they didn't add any people. Like, they kind of do. There's always DLC characters you can kind of get. Yeah. I do like that aspect. But they did say um, when the game before the game came out, there would be no added characters. Mm. And at first, I'm like, ah, that sucks. But then you like... I, the reason they did that was so they could put more story content in the game. Yeah. And we would only find out later on, months later, that that was worth it because we got um, the three very good story contents, I feel. Jaws of Hakan wasn't that great, but it was still pretty good. Mm. Um, but uh, Jaws of Hakan was laying a little too late. But the one that really was worth it was the... Uh, oh, what's that last one, Alex? The very last one that basically sets up the next game. Oh God! Um, I want to say Awakening, but that's Dragon Age One. No. Um, God, I can't remember because I keep for some reason my my mind keeps wanting to say the Black Emporium thing, but that's when you can change your the, the way you look. Uh, the Black something. You remember that thing that you you can you can go to the mirror and you can change the way you look or whatever. Or oh not? yeah, the Black Emporium. That's what. It, that, okay, that's yeah. what I was right. Okay, the Black Emporium is like uh. That got popular in Dragon Age 2. It's like a... Yeah. It, it's like you want to break the game, come here, and you can buy, like, strong stuff. Yeah. But it's, you know, you have to, like, have um, a lot of gold and things. Oh, God. There was a Trespasser. That, there we go. Yeah, yeah. That's the one I wanted to hear. Yep, Trespasser. Uh, the Trespasser is the last DLC that came out for the game, and that basically sets up the next game, um, which is, I think, codenamed for us, Dragon Age 3. I don't think they've ever said that's what it's called. Mm. But very excited for what comes up next. Inquisition. Um, and then they had the the, the Descent, I'm sorry. Also. Yeah, the Descent was the second one. That's yeah. when you go into the Deep Roads. Yeah. Um, Alex, with your main character, right? We are, of course, the entire game is about religion. Mm-hmm. Um, you're centered around a religious. People think you are basically a form of Jesus Christ in their world where mm-hmm. you were touched by the Herald of Andr- Andraste. Yeah. They think you were even grabbed by Andraste herself to be pulled through the veil to save them. How did you play through that? Did you play as this kind of <clears throat> Jesus-like character? Did you play as more of a straightforward guy that doesn't know what's going on? There's a bunch of ways you can play this. You can play this as like yeah. an elf that is thinks he's brought by the elven gods. Like, what? Do you remember how you I, played this? I played as a guy who just like just a typical guy who was like, I mean, I guess not. Is it king? I mean, not king, but like uh, just uh, you were kind of. I was just a, in charge. You were head of an inquisition. Yeah, so, so I was just, I was just a guy. Just, like an army. I was just, yeah, I was just played as a guy who just wanted to keep everybody safe and alive. Okay, I'm, so I you're kind of oh, doing like a good guy that yeah. was placed in a hard situation. Yes, okay. yeah, I wasn't trying to be all. Oh, I'm good. I'm yeah. like I'm a god. I'm your god. No, because there I are lines you can go like, oh, I yeah. am from Andros. <laughs> like, no, you yeah, just really get into it. Yeah, and and it's revealed later that you're not actually from Andros. They and they yeah. ex- It's always interesting with Dragon Age lore, and I'm and this is super nerdy, um, but they always give you. <clears throat> Things can that can be explained by their because we know their god exists because the veil exists. So they mm-hmm. like you. We know this, this stuff exists. So, uh, 
it's interesting that they give these redirects that it's not their god, but for some reason, like, I feel like it would have been easier just to say it was their god <clears throat> because we know their god exists, so why wouldn't it just be the... But it's, it's, it's funny that they keep their god separated from the evil that's happening because we haven't actually heard anything from actually Andraste doing anything, so it would be cool if, like, maybe in the next game something happens because we know the guy who's with you, Solus, is uh, going to be connected to the next game in a mm. very specific way. I don't want to ruin it because Alex actually doesn't know what I'm talking about right now. I don't believe. Do you? Uh, no. Okay, cool. I want <laughs> you to play the trespass. <laughs> oh, so that's what I was like. I was like, for three. What? I don't want to spoil it specifically because I know you haven't hit that point yet. Yeah, no, I haven't um, hit but, it yet. But you just have to play the trespasser and you'll understand what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. Um, I got to go back to it. Then. Yeah. Uh, but that's my two cents. Yep. I got kind of stuck in lore there for a second. Sorry. No, I hey, blacked out and I came I'm back. I'm sure whoever loves uh, Dragon Age are like, yes, keep going. <laughs> He's like, yes, let's, let's, let's talk about it. But, um, Anyone so that, else? no, Thanks. 2014, I mentioned all the games that, uh, I, that really touched my heart that year. No, good, good. I am killing <clears throat> time because I'm doing the bit where I talk about 2015 yep. and here we go. 2015, Alex. Yes. We learned a few months ago. Mm-hmm. I think 2014 near the end that Lucas <clears throat> sold Star Wars to Disney mm. for one billion dollars. Yep. And we finally get the results of that sell. Star Wars: The Force Awakens. That Man. is live in the films. <laughs> yep. Followed by Jurassic World at number two and Furious Seven. Oh. And Avengers: Age of Ultron. That's a solid four movie oh. little like year we got going. I like that. Dude. 2015 off to fun starts. Um, that's to get you in that 2015 mood. Yep. Now moving on to the video games. Furious Seven has a has a special <laughs> place in my heart. <laughs> Does it really? This because that was the last Furious one. Seven specifically. Yeah, because that was the last one with Paul Walker. Oh, before he died. Oh no. Yep. Because dude, to bring it down. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> has always a hey, for Paul. I know, right? For yeah. Paul, man. That skyline, man. Yep. That was that. Eh. And I'll tell you about it when I see you again, <laughs> dude. Um, watching those movies, that yeah, was it. that's my favorite car. So yeah, but yeah, no. Uh, Fury Seven, great movie. All those movies, all those movies are great movies. Alex, mm. a few games came out. Yes, it did. That spoke to me. Okay, I'll start with the lowest and go to the top. Let's go. Fallout Four. Yes. I, I I would not go as far as this game disappointed me, but it gave me what I was expecting without any sort of surprises, yeah. right? Yeah. I was expecting Fallout 3 and getting Fallout 4, Yeah, and that's what I got. It I was got, just more. I got Fallout 3, yeah. and it was slightly upgraded. There were some weird things you could do with building communities and things that yeah. I didn't really get into, I but my yeah. girlfriend loved yeah, she loved making her. I did a little really bit, and then like still to this day, if I load it up, there's still a cow on my on my build on my roof. I still have it's yeah, still sitting there. You showed me that one time. Yeah, um, very hilarious. Yes, uh, thing you got going there. Yeah, I, um, I don't know what happened. That was like what a couple years ago, and I if I log into it this day, it's still there. He's trying to sell his wares. I guess okay. he's just just trying. sell just buy his wares. He'll leave. Yeah. I don't, leave. Leave. I don't know. Um, any special place for Fallout Four? I can't speak too. I, sorry, uh, I can speak a lot to it, but I don't want to sit on it too much. I'm not, no, I'm not I just I I mean I enjoyed the whole, the whole the new mechanics and stuff like how you can uh, make what your uh, your guy looks like and what your wife would look like. It, it was pretty cool. Like they made it look. Uh, it was really fun. Alex, mm. my next two, you know. So do you have any honorable mentions you want to say? Um. Let's see. Make sure it's not the same ones you got. I don't think it is. I know your game of the year is. Mm -hmm. Um, Actually, I do have one, which I don't think you have on here, but it was one of the very first PlayStation 4 games I played. Order 1886. Whoa. Okay. That game was good. That um that that's like a throwback for me. That's a th- yeah. Because I I I got a PS4 around the time that came out and I bought yeah. that game. And see I bought a PlayStation after. I didn't buy I didn't buy I buy It was like roughly the time that came Actually, out. I didn't get a PlayStation 4 till a couple months maybe a year later. I don't remember getting a one right off the bat. I remember I waited at least a couple months. I remember buying this game not for <clears> 60 bucks. 
I don't remember. No, when, yeah, no. I think it was a few months, like no, two months I, uh, after, maybe. I don't know. It wasn't that long. Yeah, no. Um, but I did like this game. Yeah, no, I, I liked Order 1886 a I lot. liked this game a lot. This um, was really fun. Um, I loved the time period and yes. the aesthetic. I love that you were like part of the Knights. The very gothic feel you got yeah. from everything. The very... Um, Sir Galahad. Yeah, and... Um, God, that's so cool. Um, Tesla. Nikola Tesla, I believe, mm-hmm. was the one who won the AC versus DC war, and that's why everything is more Tesla coiled and things mm-hmm. like that. I'm pretty sure that's why I could be remembering wrong. God, it was it was it was that fun, was though. so good. It was like one of the it was I think it was one of the first PlayStation Four games I played, and I was like, I'm liking this. Mm-hmm. It was fun. It looked cool. great too. Yeah, it looked fantastic actually. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the horns. Go ahead. And go with Batman Arkham Knight. Yes. Uh, the reason this isn't my game of the year was because it had some very interesting problems. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want to dwell too much on the negatives because this is kind of like an uplifting positive one. Yeah. Um, so I'll just say my piece and go. Batman Arkham Knight was a fantastic game when uh, you were Batman and it got really calm, like unnecessarily attached to the Bat Tank. Yeah. I did yep. that hate the bat tank no yeah but i did not know why we spent 50 percent of the game fighting things randomly drones in the tank people like the death stroke fight was yeah. a tank fight yeah and when you blew him up he just got out of the tank and fell and yeah that was it i was yeah i thought i was there gonna were, fight him i'm like oh let me get ready and then it's little, like oh there no, was a good mind. bit of disappointments in that game the yeah. final battle that gets you super happy you're like yeah i'm ready i'm ready and you're like all right there's a lot of drones and you're like mm. wait a minute am i about to come out here and just fight an army of drones and that's gonna be the conclusion to this and yeah. that's what happened <laughs> the yeah. uh the ending actual portion with the final boss is very touching and I very much liked it because I love the Red Hood storyline and I mm. love where that goes and I love when done right it, it can really cause feelings of uh th- that that make you feel and I loved the Joker at first when I saw the Joker was in the game because they didn't tell mm. you oh yeah yeah remember you got hit by the gas and you wake up and he's staring you in the eyes yep I I I at first was like mm. why can't we have a Batman game without Joker. And in hindsight, me looking back, he was an important part of that game because he, he does bring levity, but in a way that isn't Joker where he just like kills people. Mm. Like he's there to warp you into change. And then you later find out you're infected by the Joker to- and you're turning toxin, into Joker. Yeah. As in those other people in that cell block is. Yeah. And you, you look in the mirror and you can tell you're changing. Like, it's just little things like that, which are really, that was a really cool storyline. Mm. Again, just really disappointed with all the Bat Tank stuff and the Batmobile, awesome. Yeah. We spent a little too long there. Yeah. Anything to add? Um, no, I mean, I enjoy, I enjoyed it as well. And I love that they made the, um, was the map, yeah, the map was bigger, wasn't it? Oh, it was yeah, yeah, huge. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Compared to Arkham City, it was bigger. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I mean, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Origins. Origins yeah. Origins, I it's, believe, is as big as City. Yeah, it's as big as City. I don't remember. But no, yeah. Um, Batman was, I mean, I just recently went back because I, I remember that I didn't finish the DLCs. Mm-hmm. So oh, I went back so and good. finished them. They were cool. Did you do the freeze one? Um, I, I haven't finished it, but I, w- I was working on it. There's a very touching freeze DLC that you should, mm. you should, I think I would recommend that over the others if I remember correctly. Cause that's the one I remember so okay. fondly. <clears throat> it is almost like the Batman animated series, sh- uh, TV episode. That's about him. Ah, it's really cool. Gotcha, I really okay. liked it. Okay. Um, but yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm just going to mention this one, but it's not even a thing, but dead Island two was supposed to come out this year. Or that year. That year. Oh, wow, but, really? Yeah. Oh, my because they, God. Because there was actually a gameplay that they showed at a certain I remember. thing. and But it, it, it never released. And to this day, it's yet to release. And actually, this year, they said in August, it says development was moved again to Dan Busher Studios in August. So they've been changing a lot of studios. Hopefully, we'll just, get this game. Just axe the game at this point. I mean, no, Axe the man. game and give it to another developer to just restart everything. Uh Anyways, I just want this game. Let's move on. But let's go. Let's go with the our game of the year. We are uh, now, Alex. Mm. It's Witcher Three. Yes, it Witcher is. Witcher Three. 
another game, game similar to Skyrim, where when you finish it, you look so at your time and hours. you're over a hundred and you you just don't notice because it's like one sixty something. The gameplay is so good. Your yep. I love the sign aspects of the game where you're making different signs: Igni is yes. fire, Axie is I believe mind. Um, uh, I really liked the shield one. I don't remember what that is, but yeah, you could block yeah, things, and, yeah. and you you could use that to heal yourself if you do mm. it correctly. Um, there was an element of preparation. If you would go to fight a monster, you can drink a potion to mm-hmm. uh, enhance your abilities. But if you drank too many, you had a toxic meter, so that would add to your toxic meter. Like you could just get so deep into the game. Yeah. That was really fun. Yeah, um, I did love that game. I loved the uh, I loved uh, the Siri. Everything was Siri. Oh, yes. Anytime yes. I was involved with Siri, that was when the game really picked up, and I loved it. I loved when they when she showed him her powers of teleporting through dimensions. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you got stuck in the snow, and you got stuck in the other place. Like, yeah. so cool. Yeah, the, ga- the crazy thing about this game is, like, you can be doing one thing and just get reverted to doing something else. And you it's like, sure. it's like two hours later, you're like, oh, crap. I, I was supposed to be doing this a while ago. But yeah, Witcher, oh my god, you can do so much, and it's so cool. Like, that game is so awesome. Alex, mm. let's grab our canes and twirl it towards 2016. 2016. We're getting older. Yeah, we are. We're slowly approaching death. Yeah, bring it, a way to bring it down, man. <laughs> the TV shows of that time that are popular, Stranger Things just came out. Oh, wow. Planet Earth 2, which is one of my favorite documentaries oh, god, of all yes. time. Game of Thrones hits 7.2 million um expressions per day which mm. i don't know what that means that's a weird way of describing anything okay uh business insider <laughs> yeah um but let's go to the films because i've been liking our little through line with this captain america civil war was the number one grossing film of that time oh wow that's a fantastic movie yeah, it is. rogue one interesting captain america beat rogue one in the theaters by a mere hundred million oh, wow finding dory zootopia and Jungle Book rounding out top five. My wife loves Finding Dory. We just she watched it like a, yesterday, the day ago. before yesterday, <laughs> two days ago probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I like it fine. It's cute. It's fun. Yeah, I like. I. It's funny that they made a whole movie about how she forgets things. But yeah, I, I digress. I digress. <laughs> I'm gonna start us off. Okay, go for it. I had a busy year this year. Mm-hmm. 2016 is filled with a lot of good games. Yeah, there is. I'm going to start off with a small one I won't delve onto, Civ 6, Civilization yeah. 6. One of my favorite strategy games of all time. Yeah. You know the game. You love the game. If you know it, you love it. I'm sure you, you uh, if you don't know it, you might like it if you hear about it. Civilization is just that. It's a mm-hmm. game you play as a civilization. You go from the Stone Age to the Industrial Age to, the, you know, onwards and onwards until you go to space travel yeah and you are trying to beat all the other civilizations in the game by hitting x <clears throat> thing first so you can win economically by dominating the market you can win scientifically you know things in that and it's a really good game i love again the strategy aspects to it mm. moving on what is your uh my lowest one um like you said yeah i um i just want to uh add because i waited so long for this game and it's better now no man's sky Oh, No Man's Sky came out August 12, 2016. Okay. I waited so long for that game because I just love space. I mm-hmm. love exploring. And I was in on launch. I played it. It just, it was, it, it were wasn't, you, there were wasn't you a lot with of everyone st- else that hated the game? No, I didn't hate it. Oh. it I, I just disliked certain stuff and I wish there was more because yeah. the things that they promised and stuff like that, you know, not of course, all of it was yeah. there. Yeah. So I'm like, I played it. Oh, yeah, that's fun. I played it for about a month and then I stopped. Mm-hmm. Then they started. I don't know when it was. Maybe I think it was a year, a year later, later or something. Like almost exactly a year when they did the relaunch. Yeah, and they next and they relaunched, played it, and now the new updates out and stuff like that. It's, it's so cool. It's so much better. Launched on Xbox yeah. One. Yep. yep. Oh my God, so much better. Mm-hmm. And now they even I think uh, they added a VR version on PlayStation, yep. and I I want to try that. Free of charge if you own yes. the game already. Yeah, that I want to try. Very cool, and I want to try that. And a cool way of showing, uh, yes, your fan base. Like, oh hey, God, yeah, we we. We get it, but yeah, no, uh, I still, I still like it. Just because, I mean, I can jump in and just go into. I love going into a planet, and it, it, yes, it takes forever. But going, you can go in a planet and then coming out of it. Like actually, it's not just like instant. You actually gotta go through, it and it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And it shows the transitions. Alex, mm. 
an very underrated game. I feel. I don't mm. think a lot. I think a lot of people glossed over it because the first one did not jive well with most people, and I don't think a lot of them loved that type of game. Mm. Watch Dogs Two. I mm. love Watch Dogs Two. That was my game of the year for that year. Wow. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Ladies and gentlemen, you give me a hundred tries. I would not have thanked Alex picked Watch Dogs 2 as his game of the year for that year. I love Watch hold, Dogs 2. Hold that. Let me catch up. Okay. And we'll hit All right, 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 right back, right. okay? Right. I'm very excited. All right. Persona 5 is my honorable mentions. Mm. Persona 5, if you do not know, is yep. in the vein of Witcher and Elder Scrolls, as in you put in a eye-bleeding amount of time until <laughs> yep. you eventually beat the game. It took me a full year. I never I never went that far. To beat the, no, I, I, never, I didn't think you would. No, <laughs> I, I played 4, not many people but did. I didn't beat 4, and I'm still, because I'm stuck. Yeah. I love Persona, and I love Persona 5. I... Uh, uh played so much that year. I played probably 80 hours that year and then finished it up the beginning of the next year after that <clears> yeah. um doing the rest of that I was missing I'm sure everybody else did the same um and again loved it I loved the aesthetics I do mm. not I've never been to Japan I don't know much about the culture and so I loved learning about it through the yeah. game through through same. these teens um it's a very dark game in certain areas but very light when you talk about the teen humor and when they hang out and of course there are best girl Right, you can mm. get the best girl in the game. Oh yeah, whoever yeah. your girlfriend is, or whatever. That's always a cute side thing you yep. do. Um, but Alex, mm. I'm gonna do my game of the year. Mm. I will do my small thing, and we'll hit yours. Okay, and we can talk about Watch Dogs too. Okay, my game of the year for that year, Alex, is Uncharted Four. Ooh. Ooh. Uncharted 4 was a special place in my heart. It yeah. is kind of cheating because it is the culmination of Uncharted One, Two, and Three going into yeah. Four. And see, that's why it was hard for me not to give it to that one. But we'll, we'll, uh, you'll see no and, more. And yeah. I, I got you. Yeah. So a little background. It, like I said, it is a little cheating picking Uncharted 4, specifically because I am coming in with three other games that I found fallen in love with. Yeah. I'm going in, playing this game, and being like, whoa, I am in love with this game. It brings back memories. It brings up things that happened <laughs> in other games. It picks up with Nathan Drake not in veteran he's settled down with uh elena and yep. he's he's yep. is working uh at the docks doing yeah something. he's where he's like um the he, he he's goes like a helper with yeah boats, he goes right? down and That's gets right. stuff in the docks yeah and stuff like he, he clean he like finds things in rivers or yeah. something like that he 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 uses his ways of of finding things to help to help people somehow. Yeah, I yeah. don't remember. Not important. He finds his treasure hunting skills yeah, to go into he, docks yeah, to find treasure, I guess. It's weird. I don't yeah. know. I know what Moving you mean. Moving on. Yeah. yeah. The beginning, you're sharing these adorable scenes with Elena. Oh, yeah. You play Crash Bandicoot 1 together. That is awesome. And, yeah. try to, and, and you try to beat her high score, which is a trophy if you yes, do, which is. was so great. Yep. You play with her. You have great scenes with her. You find out you've had a brother, which is a little plot holy because you haven't heard about anything the yeah. entire other three games but hey whatever yeah um and they bring him up you he comes up to you he says hey i need you your help with this thing you yep. help him out he i think he betrays you or something like that i don't know things remember. happen things happen i need to play this game i miss it yeah um but things happen uh and what the gameplay's good the stealth thing's good all mm -hmm. this is good game, gameplay uh the the puzzles all that's good then the ending especially is good because oh. it works in their kid and all yep, that stuff the daughter that such a cool scene yep so cool um that's my two cents on the charter four love it i need to replay it because it's a little too shady in my brain for my liking yeah why is Watch Dogs two your game of the year for 2016 Watch Dogs two <laughs> I played the heck out of it. You this did. Game. You did play it a lot. And not just once. Alex, not you didn't just, just play not it just once. once. For people who might have clicked on this accidentally while trying to order a pizza or Chinese food, mm -hmm. why did you play it twice? I played it twice, <laughs> Elijah, because let's say I was, om I was what? 30 40 hours into the game maybe i, I don't remember i think you had 5 hours left maybe a little less I had, yeah i was almost cuz i knew done a mission with the you game. were on and yep. i was like oh you have three more missions and you're done i was almost done with the game i go to play, my little brother comes uh, over one day he's like hey uh we want to try this game out 
I was like, all right, go for it. Just go, you know, just uh, use 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 your save or go to your account. I come back, my save is gone. I, I I'm like logging Nothing in. Nothing more to, and I was here when he found this out. Oh, I, oh, oh I'm was like, where's in. my? Because you started the game. Yep, I logged in. Yep, you go take it. I'm like, I, it's loading in. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm ready. My guy walks. Uh, Mar- uh, do you play as Marcus? He he comes up. He's not wearing the same thing that I usually make him wear. I, I have He's him, wearing the beginning. Usually, outfit. usually I'm usually I have him wear yeah. the white suit with the white beret. Yeah, looking hat. yeah, yeah. And like it looks like a kind of like it, it looks super cool. Mm-hmm. When I logged in, he was wearing some weird camo shorts and a oh, tan shirt right. and yeah, a weird right. and a weird like hat, like mm-hmm. a fishing hat. Mm-hmm. And I was like, ew. What is that? Yeah, and I looked at my yeah. I looked at my uh, my likes because it's kind of uh-huh. like Facebook. You yeah, get hearts yeah. and stuff. It, it stuff. was like your sto- your story progression. Yeah, I think, or yeah. Like so I was like, I don't have anything. Where's all my stuff? I lo- I I closed it, loaded save, tried it again, nothing. It just kept doing the same. I was like, what is going on? And I was I I asked him. I was like, hey, when you played this game, what did you do? It was like. Wait, 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 let me play the say the game. So I thought I just played start new game, and I was like, "What?" Ladies and gentlemen, he deleted about forty hours of progress uh, oh. in the manner of five minutes. I was so upset. I will. I was so upset that I didn't want to play this game for a week. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then I went back, and I finally finished it completely all the way through. I love this game. In the matter of a few days, I yeah. remember asking you about it. I'd be like, hey, man, yeah. so what's what's up with it? And you're like, yeah, I start playing. I'm, I'm almost where I'm at again. I was like, good Lord, what? That took you probably two days, I yeah. think it was? Uh, I think it was like three or four. Okay. But um, I, I was, it's because I remember what to do, and I remember how to do everything. So I just went back and through it. Because some of the stuff when I played my first playthrough, I didn't know what to do. So I, it took me a while to find certain things and try to figure out how to get certain uh, up certain buildings. Mm-hmm. This one I knew I knew where to, exactly where to go where, mm. and how to right. lose cops all this stuff. Right. So, but I just walking around like because we played the first one. The first one was cool. This one is just it just I mean for people who like like for example Grand Theft Auto and stuff like it feels very similar to very it. Very similar. Yeah. But you pretty much play as a hacker. You have this drone. And you have like the little RC core. You're, you're not like oh, a grown yeah. man. You're like a twenty something. Yeah, you're Probably a mid twenties a hacker. And you're going into buildings, getting stuff, hacking stuff. You can hack cameras. I mean, God, it was so much fun. You have mm-hmm. these cool cars, bikes. The game was built around three ways of navigating a level. Yep. I believe it was ghost. Yep. Hack. Yeah, hack. Hack and, and then assault. Just straight, and assault. So yeah, assault, and of course. And I is never just, shot no, one again. person. Me either. I, I used the I, stun gun. I did a non-lethal playthrough because yep. it was super weird and disengaging when yeah. you just shot yeah, up. Yeah, like I, like I felt like my guy, I was like, I don't feel like I should shoot anybody. I was well, like, because it would almost be... Because um, I don't feel like I'm a bad guy. It would it would be counterintuitive to what he's talking about because yeah. he's specifically like, I am freeing the world yeah. from the grips of corporate groups. Yeah, because he's part of DedSec. But like... Like, I don't think you're going to... And I think he yeah. actually has a problem, like, later on in the game when he actually shoots somebody accidentally or something like that. Yeah, like, so he's, like, like he's not comfortable with it. If that happens about it. And, you see, and you're like, wait a minute, what the... F- what? Yeah, <laughs> so, like, I didn't feel comfortable shooting anybody, so I just used the stun gun and then the knocked them out with those bolo things, and, and oh, they were so cool. And I think later on you get a, a stun uh, machine gun? It's like a, stun, it's like a stun rifle. Yeah, it's like stun a, rifle, yeah. that's what it was. <laughs> Yeah, it's like kind of like a rifle. Yeah. Um, but it, oh God, it was so good. I played the heck out of that game again. Mm-hmm. Still to this day. I mean, I can I can go into Watch Dogs Two right now and just just play it again. Mm, me too. That's why I'm waiting so for Le- that's why I'm waiting for Legion. So fun. Yes. It's, yep. It's so sad I got pushed. Yeah. But um, before we leave 2016, I wanted to shout out to two more games. Uh, Final Fantasy 15. Yep, yeah, I agree. And Overwatch. I agree. Yep. 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 Those two games they were, deserve it. They, yeah, those two games are so good. Fantastic games. Yep. Alex, mm. like you said, we're leaving. We just said goodbye to Overwatch. Right? Mm. We're pulling up to 2017. The highest grossing films of this year: Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Five oh. seconds. Do you like it? Of course. All right. Moving on. Beauty and the Beast. The Fate of the Furious. Despicable <laughs> Me Three. <laughs> I forgot there were three of them. Jumanji for whatever reason huh number five mm. number six spider-man homecoming God. underneath jumanji just gonna move on wolf warrior 2 
Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Thor Ragnarok, rounding out the top 10 Wonder Woman. The reason I said all of those is when you hear some of those names, it finds it hard to believe that it's under certain things. Yes. Wolf Warrior 2 is above Guardians of the Galaxy and Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Whatever. Also, Despicable Me 3 made a lot of money. It made over a billion. That's pretty insane. Beauty and the Beast. I watched it on my honeymoon cruise. Because I went on. I forgot a, you did that. Yeah, yeah, we went on a Disney cruise for our honeymoon. I also and went. We watched a, a premiere on the cruise. I went to Disney World that year. Yeah. Uh, because I drove you up there yep. with my girlfriend. That was yeah. really fun. And you almost took a red light. <sighs> that is an inside joke. We are moving on. <laughs> <laughs> it's still hilarious to this 2018. day. 2018. Uh, sorry, 2017. 2017. I apologize. 2017. So let's get some mentions. Couple games. I know what my game of the year for this year is. So I'm going to start low to oh. high. All right. Go for it. Injustice 2. That's our game of the year? No. Low oh. to high. Oh, low to high. Low gotcha. To high. Okay. I, you scared me. I'm like, are you, you sure? You're like, uh. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you sure? <laughs> Injustice 2. Mm. Fantastic game. Yep. A fantastic story mode in a fighting game. Yep. What else game can you say from that? I don't yeah. can't think of any of. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, the f- I don't know if you remember Alex, but the face tracking in this game, mm. I don't know if they used some sort of fantastic new technology or maybe it was just highlighted in this game. But the yeah. face tracking is really good, especially with Harley when she talks. You can see the indentations when yeah. she's talking. When she's and talking, it's yeah. insane how good it looks. Um, so that was really cool. Um, not too much else to say. I love, I love, of course, being a Superman beating up everybody. Um, yep. Uh, Alex, do you have a, any honorable mentions? I have one more. Should I go? I gotta more, give a mention to, to this uh, to this game because it scared the living hell out of me. Resident Evil Seven Biohazard. I saw that that came out that year, but it did not make my list. Very um, good. It's yeah, very good though. Terrifying. Yeah, it, it's terrifying. And then I later on tried it in VR. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. I beat the whole game on regular. Mm-hmm. Me too. I tried playing the VR Great version. Ending. The, I, 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 I couldn't go past the 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do it. It was so ridiculous. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, it's, it, it, it was, it's a good, it, it, went, it went, Resident Evil went back to its horror yeah. aspects, you know, which I enjoyed. And I don't know if I'm <clears throat> by myself in this thinking, but I, I did like Resident Evil 7, um, but I do like Resident Evil 2 more. Okay. Um, when they did that remake. So I do yeah. hope we get more of that type of game. Yeah. Um, but I'll take more Resident Evil Sevens. Yeah, I don't mind at all. I won't. <clears throat> I won't complain. Yeah. Back to my list, Alex. Mm. Breath of the Wild. Yeah, man. Love this game. God, yes. Loved the aesthetics. Loved the oh, towers. Yes. Love. Um. Uh. This is the first Zelda game that I've beaten. Well, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. I've played a, a good bit of yeah. Zelda. I games. played a bunch of them. I just never beat them. I've I was close. Four, three or four of them. I was close on finishing Wind Waker, but never got to beat it. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a good game. Didn't love the degradation of the weapons. Didn't mm. love that. Um, there the the I story. Did. I love the weapons. So that's a, I love the weapons. I don't like the degradation system where oh. like, you can only use it a certain amount of times and then, oh, yeah, it, breaks. And then it breaks. I yeah, feel like yeah. it broke way too often and yeah. too frequently. Yeah, I eventually um, had to and there was no way to repair. Yeah, Either. that wasn't, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's my two cents on Breath of the Wild. Really good. Did not like the degradation system. Story, to me, very weak. Do not know why they keep doing the exact <coughs> same story over and over again. I get it. Everything about Ganon? I get it. Like, that's the point. Yeah. But, like, why is it the exact same? <laughs> like, yeah. You, like, Journey be a little different. Just, uh, just it's literally it was same ending, just different route. It literally was kill Ganon. Mm-hmm. All right, Ganon has been trapped here for... For like a hundred years or something, a thousand. or and but like, Zelda didn't age within the hundred years that you were asleep. Uh, apparently she was um confined in something. I forgot what it's called. Uh, yeah, her, her she was uh, she was trapped still as well. weird. Yeah, she was trapped <laughs> as well, and the, the, so that, that's why she didn't age. Think think of it like in a, in stasis. She was in stasis pretty much when all that was happening. Weird though. Oh, right? oh yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, of course it's weird. And even the ending, like you know, the part where you uh, you're on the horse with her and you get that air bow. Yeah, the that was cool. Time, only time you ever get to use it. I was so upset. I was, yeah, that's I thought, weird, I, I right? thought you could keep it. That was, it was cool though. The, the the very end shot is you jumping up, slow mowing. Bah! Yeah, right in his eye. 
That was really. I cool. can't wait for the sequel though. They, we got that teaser. Yeah, well, I wonder what the, <clears throat> I wonder what that's gonna be about. Moving on, Alex, you finish out your game of the year for 2017, and then I will take mine. All right. So I'm gonna get another honorable mention real quick, and then I'm gonna do my okay. So, Odyssey, uh, Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey, such a good game. Odyssey, yes, yeah, see. I'm glad that they brought Odyssey. it. Um, because yes. last one that I played, there's open world Odyssey. like that was uh, yes. Sunshine, and I love Odyssey. Sunshine. Odyssey. So it was it was good to be back in open mm-hmm. world Mario game. Mm-hmm. I love that game. Too. <clears throat> yeah. I looked specifically. The sections where you can go 2D on 2D, the wall. 2D, yep. That was really cool. Yep. That was really cool. It, did, you, did you get the parts to where, like, when you were trying to run sideways, you would just fall off? Like, it was weird. It wasn't fl- It wasn't a flat plane. So when you turn 2D, you can actually fall off the edge. That kept happening to me. That's weird, not it? Yeah. Oh, wait, I think I remember. Yeah, like, I would just run, but then you see my yeah, because the Mario just, like... Yeah, that part or something. I, it, I don't remember. I don't know. It was weird, and it was aggravating. <laughs> um, But my game of the year, Assassin's Creed Origins. Another Assassin's Creed. Oh, Origins. It was a really good game. I liked it. Yeah. It did not speak to me as much as Odyssey did, but I do love no, yeah. this game. Um, still, for what it did to the genre with its <laughs> revamp, beautiful no, setting yeah, of Egypt. I liked that they, everything changed. That's just why the, I enjoyed it. Just a beautiful setting of Egypt. Oh, yeah. I remember getting... I, I If you go to my Xbox Live profile and scroll yep. down far enough, you will see I climbed the pyramid. Yep, same. And mm-hmm. I looked around, and I... Uh, it was my first moment where I was taken aback by the beauty of the game. Oh, yes. I literally couldn't stop taking screenshots. Dude, I kept yep. taking... It was just Im- insanely beautiful. It was crazy how good it looked. And I just literally <clears throat> kept scrolling, clink, clink. Like, I wanted. I made it my wallpaper for a long time. It was so good. I, I love that game. Yeah, same. Um, I loved it, and I and my wife loves uh like Egypt. Egypt, stuff. yes. So like when I was playing it, I was like, "Hey, babe, is this is this accurate? Is this accurate?" Like mm-hmm. I wanted to see how accurate the game would be, and she was like, "Yeah, some of that stuff is, yeah." Yeah, it, and I was like, "Oh, this is cool." I do love that they even turned it into an educational thing too. Oh, if you yeah. remember, they added that ability <clears throat> where you can walk and the uh, adventure thing. They have a nav uh, someone reading text to you. And yeah, um, I I told my wife this. Assassin's Creed is not just a, a game. They've made it into an his, a historic learning g- kind of yeah, game. No, because I think so too, throughout yeah. the years, I mean, like you've got you've done the Boston Tea Party, yeah, and you've done everything to where like I've learned a bunch of this stuff through Assassin's Creed. No, yeah, I, I yeah. definitely agree. And it's an easy way to kind of learn these things. I I did hear that. Some teachers are actually using it to educate things. Mm-hmm. Like they'll turn on that navigator mode and walk up to a burial scene, and yeah. it's just a cool way of showing off very e- like very <coughs> things you can actually learn. Yeah. So yeah, it, it can be a, v- a very good learning experience for people. Mm-hmm. Alex, what's up? Game of the year, twenty seventeen. Elijah's number one. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep. My girl Aloy coming in strong, coming in hot. Coming in spicy. And see, I was so gonna good. give it a mention, but I just didn't get around to playing. Yeah, you didn't get around to playing it, and you haven't finished it yet. No, not you yet. Just, you need. I need to. I know. To. But before all these two, games, all these games. Mark man, my words. Two is coming out. Before two, I would when, definitely. Finish when it. PS5 comes out, two is gonna be a launch game. You think so? so? Get ready. Mm. Get ready. Mm. Uh, well, I'm, I got. I got a. I got a year. You got a, <laughs> yeah, you got a year. All right. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep. Fantastic game. Yep. Love the um, net lore of the game. Yep. We made machines. <laughs> there was this virus that corrupted them. It destroyed the planet. People had to go into <laughs> hiding. People went into hiding. They emerged one day. Uh, people didn't under uh, the people who stayed didn't understand. Uh, didn't know that there was a world before. Mm. So they have made new religions, new tribes, things that don't fully understand what happened before. So they're just going on what they know. Such a cool aspect. We, yeah. we see robot dinosaurs. They even make it make sense where certain dinosaurs are made for certain things. Like the deer are made to, like they made robotic ecosystems so the earth would survive because yeah, they killed so it crazy. so much. And so such a cool game. I yeah. love, 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 love Horizon Zero Dawn. And it actually got my girlfriend played it too. So that, yeah. that that's kind of cool. She that, them, didn't, didn't she? Yep. Before I did, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she that speaks a lot about the game that not only me just turning it on and, and her seeing that grabbed her so hard that she had to immediately play it. Yeah, 
that says a lot about a game and it does speak to the point where uh representation does matter specifically in games uh featuring you know she looks a little bit like Layla, so maybe that is why she gravitated a little more to the game and liked it so much so that i think speaks to a little bit on yeah. representation matters in video games sometimes. yeah yes it does Alex, we're in our 2017 Malibu, <laughs> and we just put it in uh, in drive, okay? And we're going down that we're, tunnel. We're going, we're going, and goodbye 2017. It's gone. We're hitting 2018. 2018. 2018. 2018. A lot of games. A lot of games. It was a lot hard. of it was, important games. Yeah, I'd I say. couldn't make um, a list because there was just too many. I agree. There are a lot. Yeah. And I would even... So, I remember when 2018 started. Yeah. And you see, like, the list, and you're like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was almost daunting. Yeah. You're at, like, I looked at it, and I was like, well, I guess I'm going broke. Yep. I remember this. We were actually having trouble because uh, we do a very specific way of buying our things. We we're having trouble, like, buying them because there's yeah. so many, and we didn't have, of course, enough time either. Yeah. So like, we had to like parcel our time very specifically to it, ensure we could get everything, mm-hmm. and we had to save money very specific ways. But Alex, mm-hmm. take it away. So, do you want me to give an honorable mention? You want me to go straight to game of the year? Cause you know what my game of the year is, man. Let's let's. Oh wait, I forgot doing movies. Let's set the stage. Right, let's set the stage. Okay, okay. Go for 2018, it, go for it. the one of the best movies ever. Mm. Avengers: Infinity War releases mm. to a whopping two billion dollars. Yes, Black Panther, mm-hmm. Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom, Incredibles two, what kind of Aquaman? Forever. Of course, what kind of forever? Bohemian Rhapsody, and <laughs> to round it off, Venom. <laughs> Let's just end it at Venom. Venom. It was cool. Sure. Okay. I won't fight that, I guess. It was cool. It was fine. It wasn't great, but it was cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on. Mm. Start start off with some honorable mentions. What, right. what, is, what right. is your 2018? How did it fare out? What were the games that you could not stop playing? What were the games that speak to you in that year? All right. So let's go with the first one. Celeste. Whoa. Celeste, a beautiful game. Such a good game. I love Celeste. Speaking very specifically on people's issues with mental health and things Mm. like that, people having trouble with depression, this game takes that and explains it in a very clear way on how to kind of combat that with positivity, and I love that. Mm. I love the game. I love how every time you die, it's a little, they try to motivate you through the loading screen, like, hey, a failure is another chance of success, like things like that. It was really cool. It was really cool. I loved, I loved that game, yep. and it it was my first two D platformer in a long time, and yep. I'm just glad when something like that grips me and I, and yes. it, it motivates me to play. Um, Detroit Become Human. I forgot that game came out in 2018. Detroit wow. Become Human. Okay, which I think was fantastic. Game. Which I think was uh, on PlayStation Plus last month. Or the, yes, the month it was. before, yeah. Uh, it, that I, it might have been the month before. I, I don't know, but yeah, PlayStation Plus. Great game. Very good. Yeah. Technically, you got two because you can get um, Heavy Rain with that too, which was yeah, really cool. yeah, yep, yep, yep. Um, I got one more honorable mention. Let, let me, me let me take the reins. Uh, here, go go ahead. You go ahead because Red Dead Two. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Get on my horse. What mm. was that song? <laughs> Oh, God, I don't know. Ride miles to the old town road. Okay, oh man, moving on. Um, our, I mean, Reddit to come on. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Amazing game. I loved the story. Um, I had to play it twice again. By the way, you were having a really bad bug, I, and it was not stopping. Well, with this one, you, I mean, it was the hard drive issue apparently. Oh, that's right. It, it wasn't was even the, the game project. The, uh, the yeah, Xbox yeah. Scorpio editions. Yeah. Some of them had these hard drive issues. Mm-hmm. They would not. Uh, keep the cloud safe mm-hmm. or something happened and apparently it was just on the scorpio edition so i had to get rid of my scorpio edition rest in peace I, rest in I miss r.i.p it. and then i had to get a we just a regular one so and then i finally finished it super smash brothers ultimate yeah so good yeah. we didn't spend too much time on red dead too but i mean great game it's love oh it. no it's red dead love it no, i mean um super smash brothers ultimate the ultimate super smash brothers oh, says it yeah. in the title has everyone 
keeps adding crazy people. Tomorrow. Has Banjo Kazooie in the game somehow. Yep. Insane. Um, what's another one? I mean, Inside's a great game. Spider Man. I played. Uh, <sighs> Alex, you just ruined my life. All right, so good. Spider-Man. Are you kidding me with Spider Man right now? Spider Man. Spider Man has no business being that good in a year. <laughs> G-O-W came out. You know what I'm saying? Um, God dude, of War came out. It you know is almost upsetting that that game came out the year. I almost wish it came out this year or the year before like, because yeah. that game deserves a Game of the Year nod. Oh, yes. And it just can't win against the other game. Like, but it is so good. Yeah. So good. Can't wait for the next one. Full of fantastic elements. When you the hear Spider-Man, so oh, my God. It, it, it turned it into a... Not only a way to traverse, but a, a way to feel like being Spider-Man. Because you mm-hmm. can see him having fun. You yep. can see him like twirling. You can see him kind of doing a backflip every yep. now and then. You can see him grab something and push him. So, like, just dynamic things that mm-hmm. really get you sucked in as, as a uh, as a player. It's mm-hmm. a fantastic game. I love it. Yeah, love every second. Can't I? I loved it. The DLC. The DLC was oh, fantastic. Yes. Right. Um, and they had a very good DLC plan, by the way. Yeah. Well, as soon as the game launched, here's three episodes. This is when they're coming. Yep. Very close together. I think every month got a DLC, so I, w- I was back every month playing the game. Yeah. And a lot of uh, suits. I yes. Oh, the my suits God. They all kept the suits. Gave us. And it it's cool awesome. because each one had their own thing that they did. That, uh, yeah. That yeah it they does. had all, all a little extra power. It yeah. Gave you. Alex, mm. 2018 is filled with so many fantastic games. Yes, it does. I think we've had the audience here long enough yeah let's finish it up with our game of the year yes god of war alex we might god. as well rename this podcast the god of war cast <laughs> because that's really all we talk about half the time this is probably one of my favorite games of all time i would have to agree it's in my top um, five it's in my top five might be my top one it's really hard to choose it's hard it's hard and that's when you get into semantics where it's and all it's, about the day and what i'm feeling yeah. right and it's crazy because how can they top that they don't the next one's gonna be terrible <laughs> <laughs> i just can't no it, it's gonna be very hard and it's gonna kind of what's kind of the negative of all of this of all the good press and things all eyes on them now, right? Yeah. It kind of... It's like, oh, the reason what are you bringing on the table next One time? of the reasons it was so good, I believe, was because I was not expecting God of War. I was not expecting this. No, I God, was expecting no. a th- third-person, top-down action yeah. game that I just got all standard, the other three. Yeah, just a standard... Uh, God, just a regular standard uh, hack-and-slash God of War. Kratos, bah, killing everything. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, cool. Calliope. It's another Calliope. God of War. It's cool. Zeus. <laughs> Bring me your head. Just when things like that, that E right. three demo, that trailer, when we first saw, and we see that we see little Atreus sitting boy. outside, and we all we hear is a boy, boy. Mm-hmm. And oh, that was really good. Do yeah, that again for the audience. <clears throat> boy. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, w- did I just play a clip of him saying that, or did Alex really say that? Yeah. I'm gonna let you find out in the comments. <laughs> But fight it out, <laughs> right? <laughs> but no, when we open that door and we hear, he, oh, he says he was like ready to hunt, and then he just comes out. Doesn't he? Does he, he say? Um, uh, or he says something about hunting? I'm, I think. Uh, I'm hungry. He's right? yeah. Something he's like, like he's like grab your. Th- he says feed, something. Uh, oh, I'm hungry. Feed or me or something. Like that. I don't I forget remember. what he says. But he we just made comes it really out lame. Of sh- <laughs> probably. <laughs> he just comes out of the shadow. He's like. Um, Let's uh, let's go hunting or whatever. Yeah, and he just comes out, the crowd mm-hmm. just going nuts. I was like, it was just like it gave me chills. 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 It was like oh, and then the 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 orchestra playing the boom mm-hmm. boom very boom, deep. Boom. Oh, I was like oh, the Nordic theme of this <laughs> is so like outstanding. Like it's, where do we oh. go? To, uh, where should I go in the direction of deer? I'm yep. Like oh okay. And then, like <laughs> I'm like yes. Like it's so dick. good. I love it. Yeah. And in the way that you game also is, didn't. And I don't know if maybe you saw it, but I did not think this game was going to be a father and son. No, I didn't either. Um, I loved that a, a father and son connection and how they get over their death of the mother the together. Mother. Yeah. 
and how the whole journey is basically him getting over that and also Them trying bonding. to accept him as a full son rather yep. than this boy. Like, bo- and it's yeah, because he's truly cause, cemented at the end when he says "son" in, instead of boy. yeah. Because th- yeah, throughout God, the whole so game, he would say "boy." Mm-hmm. And again, did I just play a clip or did he really say it? Ladies and gentlemen, fight it out in the comments. <laughs> but um, he would he would say it and you're like, man, come on. Because it'd be a scene, you know, mm-hmm. the Atreus is looking out. Mm-hmm. That man will try to put his son, uh, put the sh- hand on the shoulder and then he just takes away. I'm like, no, he it, fears. you're hurting He's my scared. feelings over He's here. scared to love because he this had a game, family before. This game is so great. So and great. there was a big uh, conversation with a lot of people. It was like, what's better? The Leviathan X throw. Stop. Stop. Mm. The reason. Mm. Such a good prop to this game. Yeah. And we were talking about it earlier at the beginning of this covers two hours ago. Uh huh. <laughs> the constant comparison to the yep. Leviathan X speaks volumes to how good this game is. Yep. Because you, the. It's shout a, it's out a, to it, Ric Flair for saying it. To be the best, you got to beat the best. Yep. Right? When I compare something, does it feel as good as Leviathan Axe? Hundred percent of the time, the answer is no. Yeah, because it is one of the best feeling things of all time. Yeah, but I wanted to bring up the Spider Man swing. Yeah, like uh, like the big conversation that year was like, what's better, the Spider Man swing or the axe throw? It's so hard, but it's almost an impossible question. Exactly, because they're so different. Yeah. To but me, they both feel so great in their own way. Yeah, you can tell there was so much thought put into each thing. Oh God, so yes. deliberate just like in every way. When you throw that axe that first time, and it mm-hmm. tells you throw it and press a uh, triangle to catch it back. You feel that foom. you catch it and the vibrates like oh the it, vibration. It, the you're like heck sh- yeah, like the kind of shake of the camera. Yep. Just if, so you feel the thud of when that axe hits his hand and when he grips it yep. to then hit something else. And then when like you, you really can tell that the, man is bah. And then when and you really power. get the combo down, yep. I can walk into a, an arena, throw an axe at somebody, he freezes, I punch someone, and I then, take out my shield, block something, deflect it back at him. You can catch it, and as it's coming back, it can hit two other more people. That the, the, and then whoever I can was, heavy attack someone else, and mm-hmm. then I take out my chains, hit something else. Like, whoever came out of the combat for this game, and then just like the programming for all this, applaud. It's, it's like they got... They went into the game developer conference and they were like, "Hey, we need the best of each of each every everything category. Everything we need the oh. best everything." And they got it. Yep. And I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know if this is a coincidence. I don't know if maybe Corey Barlog is that good. I don't even know yeah. who is behind how good this game was. But uh, well. I mean, hopefully they can repeat it. There's the YouTube documentary "Raising Kratos." I know. Yeah, Such go watch point. it. It so is fantastic. So they explain. You can see the amount of time that Corey and ev- the whole team mm-hmm. put on this game. It is crazy, and mm-hmm. they, I mean, it's well deserved. It uh, well deserved. Oh God, yes. And um, one of my favorite parts is when they Shuhei came to test mm-hmm. the game. Yep. And he came in and goes, plays it. He's like, so this is the game. No, I, I don't like this. And then he and he leaves, and he tells some dude in the elevator. He was like, oh, how did the game go? And he goes, oh, I hated it. And then the guy comes back out and he like, he hated the game. <laughs> like that, There's just insane moments like that. And Dr. Yeah. Harris, like, at some point, that game sucked. Yeah. Like, it's hard to believe. Yeah, but like, it's so like, crazy. That, that can tell you how much can change in a development. I mean, yeah. And it took five years to make. Yeah, I wonder how much of that was actual delve time and how much did they take? Because I'm pretty sure engine time took them two years almost. No, yeah. Just um, to make the engine, and then engine, they started making I think things. engine time was two to three, because they said that the, the next upcoming one, whatever is going to be, Corey said something three, about right? it, it. Said he'll take it'll take about two to three. I love the story with Corey, and Corey is such a follow him on Twitter. He's such a character. Yeah. I love him, but uh, I I love that um, uh, he went, <laughs> he was going to go make a DLC for the game. Oh yeah, you know that's what Sony does. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Doing stuff DLC, like that. and um, they immediately went. There's too much content. Corey, you're making the second game. And he goes, oh. Yeah. Let's save it for the second game. Then. Yeah. There's too much content that he wanted to add like, to where, like, they just, it's you just keep for the adding next game. things. We're just going to put this in the second game. He's like, okay. Yep. <laughs> but, oh, my God. 
and then and I found a very interesting take. And mm. let's let's try to round it out around here. But we'll we'll take one more stab uh, at whatever you wanted to bring. Okay. Up. Um. I had a take that was do not add DLC to this game because of how perfect it is existing as of it is now, yep. and you have a chance at kind of ruining the flow of the game. What do you mm. What do you think of that? No, I I agree. Um, so everything you, so that I, everything that I got DLC. where it was leave it don't add anything else to it because it's kind of this perfect it, rounded out experience yeah i mean I if agree. you want to add more just make it a different game just add, do that game and then add the new just make the new stuff Cause like you it. can ac- ask yourself do it, what would i prefer do i want dlc that would be kind of a third maybe a fourth of another game or do i want them to give me that in another game and that game come about a few months sooner rather than later I rather things like that. I, I, I think I'd I rather, rather have that if new I can have right? the new game mm-hmm. and wait longer. I'll wait longer and yeah, give me the new long. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just keep. I it. agree. Yeah. Um. It's it's only been I guess a year, so I don't know if let's say everybody hasn't played the game. Spoilers. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't, I mean, because not everybody play has played God of War. I'm of course, sure. Right. Um. So spoilers coming up if you hear. But yeah, um, of course. When you get the chains. Yes. <laughs> That that scene right before you go to, you're like, um, you were in that one place, and you're like, you're in oh, the boat. yeah, um, going down the stream. Well, and he's just staring. even before that. Oh, before that. Yeah, yeah, before that. Right. Um, there was a scene that I think uh, Mimir talks to you. You'd be like, oh, your axe won't work there. You need something yes. else. Yeah. And you're, like, I, yeah. I, dude. As soon as I heard that, I'm like, no, I didn't think because at first I'm like, where's where's the where's the blades? Yeah, I got the he had the axe. Maybe mm-hmm. the blades broke or something. But I assumed was, the blades had to be breaking because the chains weren't on them. So he had yeah. to take off the chains. Yeah, he, maybe. Had, he had to take the chains off broken. and break them. And but he's like, the Leviathan won't work. And I'm yeah. like, well, what is he supposed to do? Yeah, so he's like, I got to go back home. And I was like, what? And he's like, uh, so I d- it didn't hit me until he got in the boat. Yeah, when he got in the boat and every and he's just there by himself and he's and he starts and we, sitting and there it, and, and everything just, turns it, red. It just sits on him. And it, you, it, and it can tell you how that was the most direction is yeah. in games because it doesn't it doesn't cut it just sits there's on no him dialogue as he's moving there's no not no dialogue nothing it's just quiet and I want to give a and shout that was one of the best the parts I oh. do not remember his name Christopher Judge thank you he's the that, guy he was in he was actually he in Stargate is a master oh my god at his craft and I don't know. If he does drugs <laughs> or some sort of illicit substance, um, keep doing it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but well, um, he actually he fantastic. talked to in the documentary, and he was like, Kratos talked to him because mm. he has a he has a, he, his own kid, mm. and I think he was saying something about he that was he wasn't he was having issues. troubles and issues with his kid. Yeah. That when he was doing this, he was actually got emotional yeah. and had that reflection in the game. So that's why you can tell that he had heart. Watch into the it, documentary. God, raising Kratos so documentary is so good, good. but you it can is tell. A must watch. But um, it, in the boat scene, he's just sitting there, dark. It's just everything's red. You're like, oh man, what's happening? Nothing, no, nothing's being said. Nothing, and nothing. He's just going down. He goes into the house, pulls o- over, open, open the, the thing, thing, open from the hatch. Earlier. Yeah, from we didn't even game, see it when the when the kid was under there. And if you actually, I didn't know this. If, yeah, if you can peek, you, you can see the, the you can kind of see the, the wrapping. Yeah, but you can see he hesitates when he closes it because he looks at it and then closes it. Yeah, because just because I'm sure the memories of that. Is oh God, yeah, I mean, he killed him. all his family in Greek. Yeah. So, yeah. but um, yeah, he goes back there. He grabs it. And we're like, oh yes, this is it. Sets it down, unravels it. You can see the blades are kind of like worn. Yeah. They re- they look like rusty worn. Mm-hmm. He grabs it and then you see Athena chilling. in the doorway just chilling and, and he, she's like I completely you're, and forgot you're, about her. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. That was such a good like when she came out I'm like I forgot she's haunting him. Like yeah. he, she she yeah. probably has never left him. Yeah. No. Ever. Yeah, that, she like, probably just stands there. They, they cuz he's always he's with, filled with regret, I'm yeah, sure, and all yeah, that stuff, sure. but he's just putting the you can see the chains, the, yeah. the tension. He's like mm. boom. Mm-hmm. Like putting them on and then he's like he, she was like you're a monster. And she was like, "Well, I'm not your monster anymore." And I'm mm-hmm. like, "Oh, man." <sighs> and he puts them on they, and they light up. Alex, you're making me want to play it again. Stop. Elijah. Stop. I thought about going back and playing yeah, it. Yeah, me too. God. Just oh. <sighs> That scene was one to, of the best do like scenes video in video essay. game. Uh, period. Yeah. We need to do like a video essay of these things. <sighs> I think we've gushed enough. God of War 2018. 
I think we've gushed enough about 2018. So let's move on, Alex. What's your game of the year of 2019? Gee, Elijah? look at the time. Yeah. My God. We have got to go. That is... What is Alex's 2019? I guess you'll have to find out next time on the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. <laughs> I wanted to do like a Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thing. Next time <laughs> on Easy Achievers Game Podcast. <laughs> but perfect. Uh, perfect. Yeah, right? All right. Boy. Think, again, did I play them? You don't know. You don't know. I gotta Fight. Pra- I kind of practiced it a little Fight bit. Fight in the comments. <laughs> Um, um, but this was a fantastic episode, guys. If you've listened through the whole thing, thank you so I'm much. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> two hours. You already. It's already doubled time. Hey, you've when we sat with down, us, yeah. did we think we're going to record a two-hour podcast? No, not we didn't at all. Not at all. Did not prepare. No, nope. did not think it would take this long. Guess what? But hey, we enjoyed every time. I loved every second. Yep. Thank you so much for listening again. Patreon.com slash YouTubers for the support. If you listen this long, I'm sure you love us. Give us the that dollar helps <laughs> out so much. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Yep. Thank and you so much for all listening. These, and all these games you heard us say, go play them. Go play them. That gives us our endorsement. Give us your top 10 of the yeah. decades in the yeah. comments. Tweet at me. I don't care. Tweet at EVM9000, at Crazy Subscared. Tweet at any of us for your opinion. Thank you so much. Thank you.